keep them paper touching. Super stupid flow, and you bitches can't tell them nothing. UFO, uniquely flying, outstanding. All I speak is cash, I see why you don't. UFO, uniquely flying, outstanding All I speak is cash, I see why you don't understand me Got a sense for drama, so I always keep the cannon This is the invasion, so watch out for our landing Standing tall, never too far Spring and summer fashion, bro, I get it in the fall Y'all about to start hating, and I don't mind at all I'm a thriller like MJ, and my flow is off the wall Who that? Who that? Welcome to the Mothership. It's another episode of the Who That Podcast, the liveest podcast this side of the Mississippi and the Nile River. How you doing? You made it another week. Congratulations. I hope you're Rona free. If not, you still made it. It's all good. As always, I'm B. We have the Captain Demario Paco over here. How you doing, man? I'm good, man. How you doing today? I'm doing pretty good, man. I'm feeling good. We got new merch. You yeah, know? yeah, so. yeah. I'm loving this 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 wine. You know what I mean? This yeah. wine color. Yeah. Hold um, on, let's show them. Show them the. Show them the merch. Oh, okay. I, I don't mind about the, yeah. It's the doing the nasty hoodies. You can get that at the mothership on X, Etsy. Yes. It's the who that mothership. The so link yes. is on the page right now. Yeah. And then what what do you have on, sir? I have on my niggas gone intergalactic. Oh, out of space. Out. I ain't got the button, so I got to do there it is. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So make sure y'all go support. Get y'all some more merch. We got the uh, the Who That logo, the aisle that everybody loves. You can get that on a shirt, tank tops. Um, somebody, please get the shower curtain. I don't know why I want somebody to have a Who That shower curtain so bad. <laughs> oh, I know. But it would just make me happy on the inside. You, you just want to take them pictures. The Man. pictures peeking behind the Who That? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. All right. So on this episode... We are starting off our very first week. Wait, our very first episode of the month of August. Right. And August is our money month. Cha ching. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, there, there we is. go. There All there right. Is. So, uh, kicking it off with the money month, um, our first episode, we have two very, 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 very special guests. Mm -hmm. And they both are going to teach y'all a lot. Like, this is great. Uh, they're both entrepreneurs, and they both are doing things that are different. They're really, like, trying to uh, shine a light on, on the things that we usually don't think about. Number one being health. Number two being the lifestyle of, of women that do unconventional things in our minds, but uh, it's not that unconventional. But we have first, what do you, Rebel? Is that the name you want me to go by? Like, which no, this is Win Dixie. Yeah. Win Dixie, <laughs> yeah, okay. so Raven Dixie. Let me go ahead and yes, you yes, do it. Thank you. Cause <laughs> thank I, book, you. I booked them, y'all. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, I don't know what you want to say. I want to be wrong. Right, <laughs> right. So the guest we have here today. Wow. So what was that? <laughs> I have no idea. So the guests we have today are our first guest will be 
uh, Win Dixie. She runs the Raven Dixie line, and she has a uh, several shows that she is producing and starring in. So um, let me go ahead and just would you go ahead and say hello to everybody? Hello, how are you all doing? <laughs> yeah, and um, well, thank you for coming. Thank you very I much appreciate the invitation. Thank <laughs> yeah. you. Thanks for having me. And then who's the next guest, Pot? Um, this is Kamethia Wilson. And she is running a company that is a health and wellness company. It's It's got a lot of ins and outs, y'all. So it's hard for me to even just say, oh, they do fitness. I mean, they do meal prep. She's got an app where you can get your virtual personal trainer. I got my app. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's Brandon has signed up for it. Um, Kamithi, you want to say hello? Hello. So. Appreciate y'all. And she does boxing. Which yes, everyone, it's through boxing. Yes, and everyone knows that that is a passion of mine. So I love it. How the hell can we set this up? <laughs> what is going on? I'm oh. just trying to set this up on that. Oh, okay. I'm having technical difficulties. Okay. okay. All good. <laughs> but she does boxing. We met. Uh, we first met at um, the Juneteenth. Yes. If, if you weren't there, you missed it. But next year, make sure you're there. But we met at uh, Juneteenth, and she did. Uh, exercise like right there she had some volunteers that were some kids and showed them uh the proper boxing stance how to throw a jab how to walk while you're doing it For um sure. and getting your your, your your balance together like she right there on the spot with doing fitness instruction like exercising by using boxing and i loved it uh walked up to her we talked a little bit. I told her about Dr. Hines Boxing Gym and the uh, youth boxing camp from last year, if you guys remember and everything. And ever since then, we've just been hitting it off. So I'm thank you for coming on the show and being here. You. Like This is awesome. I appreciate you. So before we get into y'all businesses and everything that y'all do, how's your week been doing? You I've had, had a good week? I've had an actually amazing week. This week was really um, big. We wrapped, our, um, we wrapped our summer episodes for the Reels and Tells of Bike Life. The last mm-hmm. episode came out on Thursday. We picked up a couple of great new sponsors for the show. Awesome. And, um, Congratulations. You know, my kids are healthy. I'm healthy. God is good. It's a good week. All the time. <laughs> All I like the time. That. I like that. How's your week been? I can't complain. That's what's a up. A great week. Um, full of business. I love the shirt. Hey. I just noticed the shirt. I love the what shirt. What does the shirt say for this? Okay. Hit her up yeah. for shirt who, needs. Who, who, who made it? Nancy Frierson. Nancy Frierson. Yes. All right. Female black entrepreneur. Shirt game is tight. Hey, all right. Shout out to Nancy. Did so with, the, with this being a money month, we're starting with entrepreneurs, but also we're starting with uh, female entrepreneurs. But even with that, we're starting with black female entrepreneurs. Yes. These women are doing their own thing, uh, carving their own lane. Um, and, and bringing light to people that, that need it, whether it be uh, through the fitness, through wellness, through health, through just treating your body right, through uh, media, and, and giving women a chance to get their stories out there to show what they like to do with their life and how they have fun and how that is a, a sisterhood all in its own. Uh, it's very inspiring, like both of y'all just decided to go out on your own. How long have, have you been uh, doing the shows and everything? Since 2017. I came up with the concept in fall of 2016. And then I um, created my LLC and everything in mm-hmm. February of 2017. So Valentine's Day. Okay. Yeah. And, well, right. and let everybody know what was the name of the first production with the that you did? What, what did the first show that I ever yes, did? Yes, the first show. The first show that I ever did was called The Biker. The Biker. <laughs> the Biker. Is. But um, I started with the apparel line. So it, it all started there, and I did that. And um, I had a blog on the website where you can go get the clothes that was dedicated to a biker each month doing a great thing in their community. Mm-hmm. And it just naturally progressed to a vlog, which kind of just blew up my YouTube, and now it's it is what it is today. Yeah, multiple productions. So. Multiple. <laughs> There's always something new on there, guys. So definitely need to check that out. Yes. yes. One of the one of the reasons that I made sure that that these two individuals were here to talk about this today is because, you know, they do things that that are different. Yes. You know what I mean? They're not just out here doing hair. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to those that do hair. Yeah, nothing wrong with that, but he just got his shit re, re, retwisted. I did. I did. <laughs> Appreciate y'all too. <laughs> 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 but 
<laughs> little bandit on there real quick. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I mean, really though, that, not every that's not an avenue for everyone. You know what I mean? Right. And these ladies are opening up new avenues yes. for you know, especially women of color. Mm-hmm. So I want everyone to be able to see this and be like, okay, you know what I mean? I there, there are more options to doing this or doing that or you know what I mean? Trying to follow you know because in a, a lot of times in our culture we f- we we follow trends. Yes, mm-hmm. and. None of that shit is going on at this table right now. We set trends. Exactly. You know, and there's a lot to be said behind what you just said about um, us operating in basically male-dominated arenas is what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Um, I know Kamithia, she's probably one of the few women that Mm -hmm. do what she does as a woman of color. And I know... And I've met, yeah. Yeah, in my avenue... I am, <laughs> I am the lone female. <laughs> There's not a lot of uh, females that are doing what I do, um, let alone you know females of color. So, right. so is that yeah. with with that being said, is that empowering or it does it feel like more of an obstacle? Like being the only one, does it feel like yeah, I'm in here too? What's up? Put some respect on my name, or is it like, oh. You wanna go I first? gotta fight all of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the support? <laughs> but um, in just being real, it's great. Yeah, It's great to be in that avenue because when you pull support and you tell people about what you're doing, you actually get it. Mm-hmm. It's a little lonely coming up with ideas yeah. and branching out and trying to be creative because nobody really knows what you're doing and how to support until you communicate that need. But Right, right. I can't complain. Wait, you didn't answer the question. How long have you been doing the, the knockout, the, the fitness, the wellness and all that? Like, okay. And, and so, please explain for people the, the full sphere of like of, of what you offer like how you okay. help clients out because there's so much so i've been in it for 12 years damn all right but, i wasn't expecting that all right <laughs> <laughs> i broke it down into about two years with having my own business nice at first i was fearful then i got over the fear because it's like okay you're doing it and it's mm-hmm. everywhere so what were you, you scared of right so i got over it two years into it i'm just pushing it more more and more into the community. Mm-hmm. At first, we were inside four walls, that gym atmosphere, the mm-hmm. treadmill, yeah. the elliptical. Yeah, I hate the elliptical. And we're tired of being <laughs> outside. So now we're we're in this space where we're forced to be outside, but we're also forced to be in our homes. Mm-hmm. So it's a great time to push knockout health and wellness because we're getting outside of our home and we're knocking out health and wellness. Hey, all right, that's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. So you do the meal preps. You uh, you do all right. So. When I go on the app, she has it set up to where I have goals um, through walking, through eating right, through doing exercises. For and sure. I, I've been trying to keep up with it also. <laughs> For sure. Like, since I announced I was running and everything, I've, I haven't been able to be as strict with myself, but I, I just got to get back on regimen. I got you. But it's so, it's so cool because um, the, the app that they have, like on the iPhone and stuff, it's, it's kind of just tracks what, yes. you, what you're doing. So if you're lazy, it's just going to tell you're lazy. <laughs> <laughs> Zero. Yeah. Like, no, you on, on my Apple Watch, it'll be like, "Will you please stand up?" <laughs> Just take a couple oh, breaths, no. please. Just something. It's time for you to stand up. <laughs> so about the nutrition side of the house, I, I deal with nutrition and making up plans, mm-hmm. but I am not a cook. So you. even myself, I need to have my meals prepared. So I'm pushing that preparation towards people too, because they get a little tired. Yeah, you know, um, you don't want to let the excuses rise up as far as your nutrition is concerned. So right. if you put it on people that love it, you limit your excuse. I like so that. meal prepping is out there, but I'm the nutrition side of the house. I'm gonna get your plan ready for you, mm-hmm. pass it off to your personal chef, let them nice. do it. Nice. Okay. If you have a personal chef, then then <laughs> shout down. out. If you don't, then you need to hit up Julia Duke because she can do that. Yeah, Julia does offer that service. So. Yes, yes. So y'all should link up because she could be the personal chef to any clients that don't have it. Boom, boom. And she's a a, a black entrepreneur also. Yes. So, man, man, we make connections, right? Right, Dude, right. They deep out here. <laughs> they deep out here. <laughs> That's, this episode is titled Rise of the Female Entrepreneur. You know? Yeah. Come through. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> but it is. <laughs> One thing we've seen with this whole, you know, pandemic, this, uh, this COVID-19 is people trying to get in their bag, trying right. to do, find their own niche or their own way to, you know, bring in money. And so we have seen a lot of uh, people try to be entrepreneurs where they go and actually get the LLC or not. Like people are trying to, you know, do something. But those that have taken this 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 break that we've all, you know, been forced to take. Yes. Uh, 
those that, you know, like, like you said, you were tiptoeing with it the first two years, that type of thing. I've seen a lot of people that actually dive into their business mm -hmm. now, like, and tr really take it seriously and try to manifest it and make it grow yes. during this time. So I, I truly believe it is a rise of entrepreneurship, especially female entrepreneurs. But just from the conversation we're having of the other names we're bringing up, from T-shirts to yes. personal chefs, it is the rise of the, the black woman in her bag. You know what I mean? And I think that's a, a great thing, especially as a positive to this whole 2020 i'm tired of 2020 like don't be tired I, man <laughs> i just i needed to be 2016 it's, it's all like, about balance and balance is not easy so it's not 2024 reason the balance is not easy man is <laughs> that is she is so right it's Damn. everything has to balance out yeah and every extreme negative will be met with an extreme positive so mm -hmm. just the Keep pendulum just got to swing yeah, back. Yeah, the pendulum's going to swing back. As, so, as the guys that's reporting on it every week, though, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as, as a Libra, that balance, if we don't have that balance, we will slowly turn into the Incredible Hulk and just so tear know. through our own lives. Yes. I mean, could you imagine if, if things were always good all the time, like nothing ever yeah. went wrong? You wouldn't, right. even, you wouldn't even realize that it, it was good. You gotta have that. You, you gotta have that to contrast. Yeah. You yeah. gotta have that contrast. Right, it right. just, it just it, don't, so I'm grateful for the contrast, actually. Well, that's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> I like pain. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, real quick, being female entrepreneurs in a small town or like just in Tennessee alone, but especially like down here, the being an entrepreneur at all, you see that there's a ceiling when it comes to your clientele uh, limit. Like me as a photographer, I, if I take pictures of everybody's family, yeah. family portraits, then that means at some point I'm going to have to wait for them to, you know, meet them again, that right. type of thing. Wait for graduation, wait for somebody to get pregnant. Right, something like that. <laughs> yeah. Like that's what we wait on. Let me like, tell you, when your, clients, when your clients get pregnant, you got to jump on that. You got the maternity shoe. Oh, I hear you. <laughs> you got the newborn the shoe. The newborn shoe. Mm -hmm. The one year shoe. Yep. And then, you know, whatever falls after. And they back to back they might book you right. for the baby shower right. and the reveal, you know. Just, just, yeah. You got to be jumping on that. But, mm -hmm. like, how do you, uh, yours is, is viewership, you know, and yours is actual clients. So how do you get clientele or viewership from outside spaces without just confining how do you yourself? you expand your brand? Mm -hmm. Okay. So... I'll start with this yeah. one. Um, yes, there is a there is a complete ceiling when it comes to what I do, and so I found that actually getting in my car <laughs> and traveling to different states and traveling to different cities mm -hmm. and picking up viewers there. I mean, like grassroots efforts, like mm -hmm. going to these places, these different places, and meeting these different people. And I did that early on. I did that back in 2017. So, you know. Mm. I'm not just operating in Tennessee anymore. Like the reality show that we're doing right now is out of Dallas, Texas, and I'm located here in Tennessee. Okay. Um, we've okay. got one coming to Los Angeles, California, and one coming to Memphis. So it's basically for me like expansion is more than just yes, my business is online, and yes, my videos are on YouTube, mm -hmm. and you know you can go to my website and buy my clothes, but. I also go sell my clothes in public. I go to motorcycle nice. rallies all over the United States and sell my clothes. Nice. I just, you just got to get beyond the four walls. Yeah. What right. Prometheus said, get beyond the four walls, put yourself out there. That's the only way to expand is to really like see a person. Yes. And yeah. like have a conversation. And there's still Next a lot of power get, in that. Yeah. 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 Um, I would say I'm more personable, personal training. Mm. Um, when I worked inside the four walls or for other companies, it was really challenging to become personal because mm -hmm. you had to meet this need and stay within a, a certain hour block right. and you just pass on to the next person. Right. Um, yeah. The way that I build my clients is by being personal and allow them to talk for me. Okay. So I build a, a great relationship that extends beyond me. Ah, that word of mouth. Yeah. Yeah. If I treat somebody bad, they're going to tell you. Yes. They'll tell it faster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They'll tell real. it faster. But yeah. if I treat someone good, then that's about five to six people saying that I did that. That's what's up. All right. So the grassroots of expansion is, is uh, still in effect. So even with social media and all that, it's still that 
look at somebody in the eye is the best way sure. to expand the brand. If you got if you got a business, you got to look somebody in the eye at some point. You, just, you got to. Like I I was uh well we were walking around um that yesterday. Mm, ah, maybe the day before yesterday. All right, something like that. Yeah, I'm yeah. born yesterday. Everything keeps on blurred yeah. together. Man. <laughs> but, uh, just walking around, just letting people know, you know, I'm running for city council and uh, and just seeing what they what their lives mm-hmm. were. Like, telling them what I'm trying to do, but also, like, what's going on with you? Like, I literally, like, met babies and, you know, yeah. all that type of stuff. It was, But it was real cool. It was just nice to talk to normal people and... So what's going on with you straight like yeah. how's your mental health like the stuff been going crazy lately you you good like right. what, what do you eat you, your nutrition good oh you ask them what they eat yeah yeah oh, we yeah. did we talked a lot about Perfect. yeah i tried to let him do most of the talking i sat in the background <laughs> <laughs> it's politicking right. he's kissing babies and chicken hands <laughs> <laughs> and it was really that without, like without trying it was like i just had a newborn baby and my first thought was all right, I need to get book a photo shoot. I need to get this. You need some baby pictures? <laughs> <laughs> my mind, I'm like, no, all right, wait a minute. Constant Let me talk to baby. For right, sure. How old is the baby? That type of thing. Right. Um, but yeah, I love talking to people about eating because especially right now, yeah. we found out your immune system is, it, it was already vitally important, but like people are actually paying attention to it. So Absolutely. when it comes to doing community gardens, when it comes to just, eating a little bit different uh i just shared your post yeah. about not going out uh for, for the month yeah yeah the whole month for no sure. eating out like wait a, minute, wait a minute is this a challenge it's a challenge okay for the wait whole month of august in on there? i do i do get in on a meal good. prep okay. or condition yourself to stay at home make mm-hmm. the meals yourself but mm-hmm. hey if you need meal prep get it out there I mean, that me? I've been okay. used to being broke my whole life. Say. I can do this. I can do this. Right. I can do this. Challenge you know, That's the reason I'm the size I am. I'll be cooking up to me. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll be in there cooking. Yo. Yeah, Papa cooks. Yeah. <laughs> Papa, <laughs> Papa going to be able to do that. He's going to do that challenge easily. He's right. not right. moving yeah. <laughs> I've been staying in the house. No, 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 no eating pizzas. Nothing like the ordering pizza. Okay, so... Yeah, I got it fun. <laughs> I got okay. it out of this. Okay, so um, what if I go to You're somewhere to that's cooking? Like, if I'm going to support somebody that's actually cooking something, then that counts. That counts. But yes. The fast food restaurants no, fast don't do food, it. No. Okay. Mm. The got delivery, it. like the pizza, don't yeah. do that. Got it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But if you can meet for your meal prep, mm-hmm. then you're supporting again black business. Yeah. That's bringing right, back that, that five dollars you know mm-hmm. that cycles back yes um so you're supporting you're staying at home and then you're showing yourself during the whole month how much you can save and spill spend on a meal prep mm-hmm. okay yeah, nice. I, I like that I, I, like saying, the, I can't afford it effect. i can't mm-hmm. afford it watch this month you can't afford it right. yeah yeah not, for sure. not only that but cutting cutting down on all those uh preservatives in the food all the fast food, everything's got preservatives. And You're rocking. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My brother, he, he's a health nut, and he was like, look, if you can lay the food on the counter, and in a day or so, it spoils and goes bad, that's a good food for you to eat. Yes. But, Word. you know, like a McDonald's burger, you can leave that joke behind <laughs> the couch for six months. <laughs> Come back, it's like, it's still a it's, burger. It's, it's spongy a little bit, but you can still, yeah. Yeah. you're yeah. like, wait a minute. Artificial. Yeah. Yes. But that fresh strawberry. It's, it's gonna mold. It's gonna talk back to you. It's I like, hey, you should ate me three days ago. I can yes. only last this long. I have a question. Okay, so um, and this is for you. <laughs> this is not my show, but I'm gonna interview. No, so. do that. Do that. Okay, so um, s- salt acts yeah. salt acts as an abrasive, right? Okay. But you use it to clean a lot of stuff, right? Right. So I've seen something where you like if you clean your fruit with salt mm-hmm. before you eat it, it will take away all like those uh, pesticides and, and all of those things. Is there any truth to that? Think about your canned goods. Yeah. How much sodium do they put in a canned mm-hmm, good? Mm-hmm. They put a lot in it to preserve it, mm-hmm. keep it for a really long time. So the concept of cleaning your food with salt, it's amazing. Yeah. It's, so it's with the strawberries, all, you can see all the, the bugs come out of it and Absolutely, everything. Absolutely, yeah. Okay. All but right. try not to use <laughs> table salt. That's right. what you some nice, yeah, you, really you good use some, um, the, uh, what is it called? You got some pink salt. Pink salt. Yeah, pink salt. I was about to say, I use pink a pink salt. Himalayan. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that pink Himalayan is, is yeah. on the counter at That's the kitchen right pink now. Yeah. I've never used pink salt. Oh, man. I'm still using the most terrible iodized salt. I'm so behind. <laughs> the umbrella? The girl the umbrella? 
I'm so bad with this. It's so. good for a lot, but switch it up a little bit. I know. I'm, I, I hear I need to switch to like sea salt or something. Yeah. So I heard it's better, so I don't know. I got the pink salt right next to the hot sauce. So I use both of them babies together. <laughs> so you'll see As like I your frozen food sodium. and your canned food. <laughs> it's sodium. like 520 sodium. milligrams of sodium. Yeah. That's what it's in Because I try not to buy canned food or um, frozen food that yeah. much. I try to get everything fresh. Okay. You know, hey, when, this, so. when this quarantine hit, I was buying canned food. I was like, I do not know how long it's going to be. <laughs> right. So, I got a whole cabinet full. My cabinet was so full, you could not put, no, you couldn't put a Tootsie Roll on the end of the <laughs> canned you, food. You had all the toilet paper, didn't you? Yeah. No, I did. You had, had all the pork. Yeah, I did. Dude, I was so happy up. y'all didn't eat pork. I was like, look at all this sausage. God, it's so good. <laughs> I came over here and the fridge was stuffed and I was like, man, what did you get? He was like, I'm glad y'all done with all this pork, man. Y'all left everything for me. Uh, I was like, God. The pork was on the shelves yeah. for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Everything was empty, but the pork, I was like, I don't even care right now. Give me this. <laughs> I don't know how long this is going to last. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, but, um, all right. So when it comes to y'all businesses, I want to know what is your vision like for where you want to take it? Like, for me, I have uh, Lost in the Trap where I do like apparel, I do mm-hmm. photography, that type of thing. But I know where I want to take it to is doing movies. And we're actually working on a movie. We're going to start like directing. Oh, we would have already been shooting it, but then she 2020 happened. The hmm? perfect. The role, that, the female role that she wanted? Yeah. She would do perfect. She would. Yeah. We're going to talk to you about that later. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna talk to you. We got a script and everything. Yes. All right, I'm ready. All right. So I know that I want to go into movies. That's yes. my, my next step. You know. So what do you see your business or your brand going to? What's the... Your, your, yeah. mm. Come here, you start out. Man, that's rough right there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, so for the app, mm-hmm. I want that to be unlimited. Okay. Make it into healthcare community, um, schools, nice. even military, just using the app. So I, I have a, a broad branch. And ex- that. Explain the apps, 20 seconds, explain the apps to the listeners so they'll know. Okay, so it's online, takes you about five minutes to sign up, knock out health and wellness. It's through my PT Hub, which is a great connection. It saves you a lot of time. So if you're down into nutrition, workouts, um, saving your workouts, tracking your workouts, it saves a lot of time. You set everything up in the app, nice. download it, click your links. There's a Park Q form on there, which is a medical form. It's screening. Everybody's yeah. health is different. Right. We know this. So every time I log in, I see the different health and the concept in the app. Right. Nice. Okay. Um, nice. nice. So right now. Continue with the question. Then. Okay. I just wanted them to know. So, you know what I mean? They're like, app, what app? You know what I mean? So just go ahead. So I really want that to be a big push. All right. But I would like to stay community-based from community to community, reaching mm-hmm. out through food drives, mm-hmm. through meeting with the youth, then me- meeting with the elderly. I feel right. like people our age, they're gonna come along mm-hmm. with us because I'm meeting with the youth right. and I'm meeting with the elderly and they're gonna wrap into that. Right. So I want it to be very small, personable. Personal. Can, yeah, yeah, I can learn, I can learn about your kids, I can learn about you and how to adjust and make those family workouts. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. All right. I like that. I like that you want to get into schools also because yeah. I think that that's something that yes, Julie. wouldn't be that hard to to do. Absolutely. You know, once you get into one school, like let's say you got into uh, Central and and part of the PE program was they had Excellent. this exactly oh my gosh. like that would it, be it would awesome. take <laughs> it would take like two months before Spring Hill was like uh. Yo. Be less bites in school. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And that's what it's I'm, a character deal. I really want that to get out there, like, cause we have a, a local boxing gym. Yes. And I'm going off just real quick, but I keep on seeing these fights that people get into on Facebook. And first off, the police gonna come get you. Be smart. But secondly, uh, <laughs> we have a boxing gym. Like, you can you can get, get your that frustration. energy out. Yeah. Like in a safe place where ain't nobody gonna lose nothing that they can't get back. Where it can uh, won't be no jumping, won't be nobody picking up weapons or anything like yeah. that. Correct. And and I defy any of you want to be tough people to stand toe to toe and fight for three minutes straight. Like you're gonna be more tired than you are mad by the end. Of I the agree. Night. Next right. time you watch a fight on World Star, the whole fight now, like when the fight starts to when the fight ends, look at that time. 
Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guarantee it. it's about 35 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Done. Like done. done exactly. So. But after that, a lot of conversation happens, especially if you change your mind, your way of thinking, like you're saying, uh, mm-hmm. gloves up, hands up instead of guns up. Yeah. So it's a different concept of, man, I don't like you, but we can take it to the ring. Mm-hmm. Once you're done, you can shake your hands because it's a character build. It's not yeah. an animosity. You don't walk away more angry. No, you tired. You hash it out right yeah. there and you say your piece. Exactly. Right. Right. Exactly. Yeah. I love that. So what do you see? Because you have you're gonna be a whole media mogul. So. Yeah. So just the opposite of what you're saying. So I want world domination. <laughs> I want it all. No. Okay. So for real, I do see the brand expanding. Um, I want to do books. I want to do um, more reality shows. I would love to eventually have Raven Dixie have its own channel on mm-hmm. television, mm-hmm. or come up with some way to have like my own station like revolt tv like diddy mm-hmm. has revolt tv right. i would love to have something like that and then with my clothes um clothes is what i love i've loved clothes since i was probably a toddler i've always changed clothes and everything so i want to have um my own um factories where i make my own clothes and mm-hmm. distribute my own clothes right. and um then um eventually the goal is philanthropy like I lost my mom at a really early age, and my one goal is once I get a certain amount of net worth, and I won't say what that is, but I want to give a quarter of that back by building um, counseling places in different cities for youth that have lost both or one of their parents at an early age. So oh, that's um, that. that's I something that. I, I want to do. I love fin- as well. uh, philanthropy. I don't even use that word, honestly. It's, 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 <laughs> it's too long for me to just say it all the time. I can't even spell it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I really love. Okay, it. <laughs> I, I love. I love that. Like when you mentioned doing food drives. Yes. Uh, for like the last four years, I've done food drives for the homeless. So when you mentioned that, like it like kind of hit me. I like. I love that. And when you talk about uh, giving back, like getting to a certain dollar amount, like I have this crazy idea. It's crazy, but like when I get it, I'm definitely gonna do it. I wanna get to a point to where I have $10 million of access funds. Like it just, I can spend this, you know? And I'm gonna go to the 10 poorest neighborhoods in the country Mm -hmm. and give away a million dollars in each 10. And then for the next 10 years, I want to have uh, scientists go every year and track the progress Yo. of that community. Mm-hmm. And then after 10 years, be able to turn it into the, the government or the UN mm-hmm. and show them that if you stimulate the, even the poorest places in, mm-hmm. a, in a country and track the longevity of how the, of the ripple effects of it. The give like, back is... Exactly. Yes. And yes. You, you hit the nail on the head when you said track because often in philanthropy, people, because they want that... It's not like business. You don't get that automatic return when you're doing no, like work. No. It's longevity. Yeah. So you have to go. You have to track the progress, and you have to go back, and you have to look at it after a, about ten a, years. Yeah, you like, got to see what, exactly. what that decade did. Exactly. Like the way I'm, in my head, what I'm thinking is, if you go to the neighborhood and somebody sees that you just gave their mom and their uncle, and then their their friend's mom and all that, you, there's an influx of a million dollars, mm-hmm. and they're twelve years old. By the time they're twenty two their entire mindset is completely different on what their life can be, mm-hmm. what it That's should sure. be, That's what sure. they're going to go after, the mm-hmm. avenues that they're going to, you know. Like, even if it, it's not like they can get into Ivy League school or whatever, mm-hmm. just seeing the the quick effect of it then, mm-hmm. that longevity of the, the mental seed you planted mm-hmm. is going gonna, is gonna to grow and harvest. No, and mindset yeah. is everything. Yeah. It, so. It's the only thing. It's the only thing. If, yeah. you, if you can change somebody's mindset, you can change the world. Absolutely. Like, but you have uh, some great ideas. Man, I, I, I sit around and think a lot. Branded for City Council. <laughs> 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 ah, thank you. Yeah, yeah I needed that vote, one. Vote, yeah. Vote, vote. But, yeah, go vote. Go make sure you're registered to vote, by the way. Um, we got an election coming up August 6th. Uh, I already went and did early voting. My son went with me. And I, I was trying to tell him this is a democratic process. He was like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what? like, we get right. ice cream or what? That's exactly <laughs> He was like, all right, so when we leave here, what's the plan? Like, sure. right. But it was cool. Um, like, just being able to cast your vote for certain people and everything. Like, it was it was really cool. I've never voted before. So, 
like having awesome. that yeah having that first experience with like, your oh. kid yeah that's amazing yeah. that's my best friend we do a lot of stuff together i had him like when i was 19 yeah so a lot of stuff i experienced for the first time mm-hmm. is with him mm-hmm. like my first time going to the circus was his first time going to the circus so we both sitting there shocked like, <laughs> <laughs> <"Shout out with> <laughs> <Cannon."> <laughs> That's a bear on a beach ball. <laughs> <laughs> we both amazed. He's looking at me. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? <laughs> so I, that's nice. I like that type of stuff. But uh, being able to do that, those those things that, like most people, he votes all the time. Mm-hmm. But um, being able to do that and see the importance of it and, and actually feel like, all right, I, I count it. You know, mm-hmm. that type of thing. It, it does feel pretty cool. So yeah. y'all make sure that y'all have that same experience. August 6th. Go vote. If you need to know who to vote for, we just had uh, Robin Kimbrough Hayes on the show. Um, she's running for senator. Uh, I voted for her. And I think um, Shapata. He's in the Franklin Ward. Yeah, yeah. Ward. He, don't, he won't show up on Yeah, he won't ward. show up on ours. But yeah. if you're in that ward, check it out. Check it out because I know we got some viewers from Franklin. So make sure that y'all go back. Look at the interviews. See if you agree with them. You ain't got to just vote for them because we you said their name. Go look at the interviews. See what if they're saying something that you know relates to you, and go vote. Right. Go out and vote. So, look, I'm gonna bring it back a little bit here. Yeah. So, being females in in, in this business world, we, and I'm gonna ask you this first, Lynn. But what would you say the biggest hurdle that you've had to overcome? Like, what do you think your biggest challenge? Has been. If I look back, my biggest challenge would be um, respect. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, people mm-hmm. taking you serious. Yeah. That was um, that was the biggest hurdle for me. Um, just pe- people automatically. I'm a really bubbly person, so yeah. you know, off the bat, people think I have no brain in my head. You know what I mean? Like right, they, they just right. see me as this person. Mm-hmm. That, you know, right. doesn't quite know what she's doing. And all the while, you know, I'm fully vetted on everything that I'm doing. Right. So you've already got the plan. Right. So you have to do a lot of um, proving yourself as a female mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. out here. You have to prove yourself more so than a man's probably going to be taken serious the second he utters the word, I'm creating this business. You know, he puts his name on the moniker and that's it. That's a wrap. Everybody's behind them but Mm -hmm. with um me being female and especially in the industry that i'm in you know i had to prove myself a lot just to gain that respect but the respect is there now (laughs) 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 did you slap the mic she ain't playing with y'all she ain't playing with y'all man gunshots (laughs) (laughs) smack in my face Drop mic. I was it. actually gonna pat myself on the back. Oh, okay. <laughs> Job well done. Pat her on the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the hell out the mic. Turn some mics up. Turn all this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> the respect is respect there. Me. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh wow. Mookie, go ahead and tell us. Um, I would have to say, uh, y'all ever heard of Long Money? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Long money, that long money support. So, uh, mm. and being an entrepreneur, you definitely have short money. So that's that day to day, that month to month, depending yes. on a client yeah. is going to pay or not. Who, you who know, are you telling? The oh. struggles, yeah. but that long money called grants and loans, yes. um, minority support. Yes. That's where I feel it's lacking. Because again, we can walk into a bank right. and say that we are female trying to start a business, but then uh, where's that cash at? Yes. Where's the loans? Where's the grants? They're out there, but we're not being directed towards them. Right. And I think that can change quite a bit. And we I can start really our hope, own I, bank. I really hope it does because, you know, I never got a loan for my business at all. I saved up my money. I started Raymond Dixie with five grand that I saved on my own. And, you know, I, I've never received a loan. Right. But um, but you should, though. It should be. Yeah, I should. Accessible. But I, I knew. You know who, that who I we all should have listened to more? You remember that dude on the commercials with the question marks all over his suit? And he yeah, always had with the books. books. <laughs> you should have listened to that guy. He was talking about the government giving away free money for years. And, we, and I always thought he was crazy. Like yes. <laughs> he kept on saying grants. And I was like, I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, and now that I got a business, I'm like, what, what? book was he selling? Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> trying to find it. All notes. <laughs> yeah. All notes. Exactly. Yeah. 
But that's what we need. I think we should start a bank. I don't think it's that hard to start a bank. There's online banks. Yeah, that oh, there's banks. Have. There's black banks. Is yeah, you but there's a banks? citizen. I think just period. Yeah, like we should banks. start a. I like not even just black people. I think that for the city of Columbia, mm-hmm. they should have a bank. Oh, think you think that, the city should? Start. Yeah, okay. I think that like you should empower entrepreneurs for sure mm-hmm. like because everybody's talking about we need oh, better jobs yeah. Yeah. well if you empower entrepreneurship then at some point you have to hire somebody at some mm-hmm. point you got to hire somebody so then the better job is facilitated got you. from right there so we just need a bank give out some money to empower them boom there you go minority support i yeah. think that um you got a good group here um Kamithia, like she said she's been in the business yeah. for 12 years. Uh, for 12 years and on her own for two years and i've been doing it since 2017 i i don't want to burst anybody's bubble but i'm be real realistic mm-hmm. entrepreneurship is not for everybody no mm-hmm. it's just not so just the customer service part alone is i've, I've yeah. been able to see just yeah. on facebook like it's not for everybody yeah. if everybody you, i've is. seen a lot of people come in behind me and come in before me that are no longer doing it because you have to be consistent yep. with whatever you're doing yeah. consistency is is key and yeah. like yeah, learning to uh predict trends That's you right. know consistency and predicting trends like where is this going like like y'all are saying 2020 everybody's trying to figure out how to make money right now well she and i we're a little bit ahead of the curve because yeah. you have to know how to if, if everything's moving to online and that's where the market is do not hesitate. <laughs> Do not yeah. hesitate to to go with that market mm-hmm. because you're gonna you're gonna be ahead of the curve. You're gonna be a trendsetter, and you're not gonna be like yes. scratching to get to the top because you're already on that wave. So don't ever be afraid to um, reinvent yourself mm-hmm. and just um, go outside the box. But always be consistent. Always be consistent. Right. So. Um, that's a, that's a big thing. That's about right. entrepreneurship. What I've noticed is a lot of people don't realize, like, as an entrepreneur, you are hustling around the clock. Yes. Um, in the beginning, nah, for sure. Stop. So, like, um, me and Wynn, I mean, even when we've done some work, what, a week ago? Mm-hmm. We're, we're sitting there. We're on a Zoom meeting at, what? Two o'clock in the morning. Two o'clock in the morning. And we're editing step by step through Zoom, showing you know I'm showing her things, making changes. That's right. To, at her request, and and it's just, and we don't take offense to none of it. Like we, we love it. It's just what we it's have we to are. do yeah. to mm-hmm. get it done. Yeah, for sure. You know, yeah. and that's as an entrepreneur, you have to be ready to do that because a lot of times you're learning while you're working, and guess what? that cost you time and you are not getting paid for it that's what i'm talking about that's the slave ship right there you got to be on your own slave ship you got to be able to work for no money you have to understand that all that money is going to come eventually in time in time but you have to stick to it you have to be consistent and understand you know everything like being an entrepreneur is is a human being it embodies your entire existence what you eat that thought process that yeah. thought process the thought process what you eat how you sleep Who you have the conversations with. that you have with people the people that you hang around let's, uh, yeah. let's talk all about of that, that stuff for a minute. all That's that right. stuff is because relevant one of the biggest downfalls of the independent entrepreneur i think is the circle of people they keep around them Okay. Yes, yeah, I would. Let, let's all combine here for a minute <laughs> because we all have different avenues. So I would say, if I had to give out one group of people to get get out of your circle, mm-hmm. it would be yes men, people that are just gonna be like, oh "That's cool." You already know. Oh That's cool. Goodness, That's cool because not all of it's it cool doesn't help or me. innovative. It <laughs> doesn't. It doesn't even help me. Like if I get, and this might be messed up, and I could be like missing out on good ideas but right. if i get too many yeses and mm-hmm. no constructive criticism mm-hmm. i won't do it because i because f- i innately start feeling like people are just saying yes yeah. like no one's actually giving it the time of thought you know what i mean mm-hmm. that type of thing so if i just get yes 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 all the time I'm like all right no one's actually looked at it right. so and on the know. flip side of that if you are around people that tell you no 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 <laughs> all the time you need right. to check that too right. because right. sometimes people are projecting and i always we'll say, say don't listen to people that have never done it before. Yes. Why Why would I take advice from somebody that's never done what I'm attempting to do? Automatically, they're going to say, you can't do that. That's impossible. 
well, F that. I listen to people that have done it before. And if you don't have those people around you, find them. There's YouTube. The, however you can find them, go watch some interviews with these people that you look up to. Take right. their advice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> don't take somebody's advice yeah. that has never done it before. Mm-hmm. That's bananas. You're sure. doing YouTube and Ray Ray's frying chicken. <laughs> you don't want to listen to Ray Ray frying chicken about your YouTube because Ray Ray don't know nothing. But if Ray Ray tell you about a KFC or about <laughs> or hey, you better take that advice. So. <laughs> Comedia, what, what was something um, you would contribute to that? Um, Who would you I'm gonna with? I'm going to piggyback off of you when you say the nose. Because the nose can instill an idea, instill mm-hmm. confidence, especially if you're going to people you trust and think they're supporting you. If you yes. hear too much of that no, it's going to make you double think yourself. You should have yes. a stronger mindset. Yes. So uh, the yes and no combination, if you have too many yes people around you, mm-hmm. not making you better, you have to be mindful of that. But if you hear too many no's, remember that still is confidence. Mm-hmm. 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 That's true. So that's, that's a big so, factor. That's that's the best. Drop a bomb for that one, bro. That was drop the bomb for real because the nose boosts their confidence. Yeah. Um. What's some people you would get away from you? They would you had to get away from you? No, I've had business. to get. I I used to hang out with a crew. I, but basically hang out with myself and my producer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't hang out what, with. What <laughs> That's right, yeah. <laughs> I don't hang out with a lot of people. I don't do a lot of stuff anymore because I have to be careful of my energy because I have to constantly be mm-hmm. creating. So I am always in creative circles. Um, you know, if I'm with somebody, or all my girlfriends now, they're entrepreneurs because we're, we're like-minded individuals. Sure. So I'm linked up with, with that. And a lot of people that I used to like drink and party with, I don't deal with them no more. No mm-hmm. disrespect, no knock. It's just, we, we, Gone. Yeah, we, yeah. Well, we, <laughs> yeah. The train exactly. has left that station. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. I'm 38, yeah. so I'm not going to be talking to You're the 38? same people. Oh, yes. yes. She 38. looks like a baby. You oh the same God. age. She looks like a baby. <laughs> so You're just with that. You're 38 years old? Yes. <laughs> do you do black seed oil or something? <laughs> no, do you do black seed oil? Ask me some. Give me some. Listen, Man, I know, I've known Kamikia. I know about Mookie. I've yeah. known her since we were kids. For sure. And she looks the exact same. Dang. That's how I knew who she was. Like we haven't seen each other in what twenty years. I would say about fifteen, twenty years. Yeah, but yeah. I knew who she was, and That's when he so said her name, I was like, "Yeah, she looks the same." Yeah. Oh my goodness. Black don't cry. <laughs> I love it. I love, I love it. it. I love it. So the concept, hey, you're 38. You're probably not rocking with people that you met at 28 or in your 20s. Right. Right. Nor are you the same. So with right. that. We age, we, we go up, we mature a bit. The mm-hmm. circle changes um, mm-hmm. to what you're focused on. If you're focused on uh, smoking, drinking, if you're smoking, focused on those things, you're going to surround yourself with that crowd. Mm-hmm. If you're focused on entrepreneurship, you're going to find your way to surround yourself with that crowd, and it comes along with it. Nice. Oh, and then mm-hmm. uh, your circle might change, and, and later on in life, you we meet up with somebody who's – then you reconnect, yeah. and they on the same – the universe is beautiful. God is good. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I want to – well, can I say who I got rid of? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Come here. My bad, my bad. Right. Hold on. <laughs> Hit it. <laughs> um, my, my thing that I'm still trying to work on is uh, I had to get away from people who don't bring anything to the table. Oh, I hear it. Like, like most of my friends are entrepreneurs or they make their own money in some form or fashion, that type of thing. But... When you have ideas, and you know, I've, y'all been hearing me just yeah. shoot off ideas, mm-hmm. and I might have an idea, and it'd be a good idea, and and a friend that you know is trying to make their own money yeah. their own way would jack that that plan because they don't have an idea themselves on how to progress their business. So yeah. I might oh just be, gosh, yes. I might just be thinking like, just hey, what if we did that? Like, I think I might, right, you know? right. And they're like, oh, that's really cool. That's that that but that'll actually getting- work. Yeah, like they're like that'll that'll work. That'll mm-hmm. and, and break it down and like so it's not like just yes man type thing, but it like get into details mm-hmm. and make me expound on that idea. And I'm like, oh, all right, that's a good idea. So I I tag that, put it in the back of my head, and then a couple months, few months, a year later, they're doing that idea, and yeah. I'm just sitting there like, it's a tribe thing. Yeah, you know, you know and like so I had to get away from people that didn't bring anything to the table, like yeah. uh, it it. You need a team, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. But if everybody on the team is dependent on you, 
then what we what we doing? Are you with a team or are you just hanging around opportunists? Right. Mm, mm, okay. You said something it, just then. I got that from Nipsey Hussle. You said something just then. R.I.P. Right. Nipsey. Yeah. yeah. So I, uh, my favorite song by him, he says that, and uh, and I was and it just made me think like, wow. All right. So at what point is it friend? Is it mm-hmm. business? Is it just you know that Brandon's gonna spew something out because my mind won't turn off right. and. And I'm not messed up with somebody making some money, somebody being able to progress themselves. You but know? it should but, come back to you, right, at some point. It, right. Yeah. Or or if a part of that idea could include me, and now you're doing the idea without me, yes. right. now I feel disrespected. You know what I mean? So I had to get away from people that I felt were more opportunist. Like, when we do things, too, like we may have an idea, and... I've got a way of, of doing it when it's the timing is right when we've got it planned. I, I hate mm-hmm. grabbing an idea and just being like, "Oh, here it is," and we're taking it out here, and you know, here it is, everybody. So I, I, I do a little bit of research and stuff. So our ideas that we come up with, they don't come right out. Right. Like we might, like he said, we might take an idea and put it in the back pocket, and it sits there mm-hmm. for for weeks right. and then I then all of a sudden I'll be like okay everything's ready I bought all the plugins I bought everything we need let's do this idea but that's the respect side just like um, when we first met um, and we sat down and got the details of what I wanted to do how I wanted my, my videos to be edited right Brennan you shot off so many ideas that you just gave to me right there for my business and at the end I was like okay I want to steal that can I steal it can I take right. it and you're like no it's no stealing you can have the idea because yeah. I'm saying it for your business, but I, w- I wanted that clarity because if you see me doing it, you're going to remember the conversation like, I gave her that idea. Yeah. Now right. I want you to know I stole it, I took it, and you gave me permission. Right. And when you see it in the city, you're going to get that support back. Right. Yeah. yeah, the respect of for it sure. all. Yeah. Yes, that, that actually, take my whole answer and just get around people that respect you. Right. Right. For sure. There you go. Yeah, respect yes. goes a long way. But we also have to understand, you know, I'm always gonna play devil's advocate. Okay, go ahead, go <laughs> with, ahead. With, Hold on. with idea, with ideas, you know what I mean. Um, we could sit and talk about ideas or whatever, but execution is everything. Yep. Sure. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, um, just make sure. Yeah, if you're, you, there are planning periods you have to go through. Like it took me. I I majored in fashion merchandising in college back in 2000. Oh wow! It took me until I was 35 years old <laughs> to start a clothing line. You know what I mean? So. Execution is, but I sat on it for for a very long time. I didn't talk about it, but right. I sat on it. But you have to understand that um, sometimes if you're slower to execute, somebody might execute before you, and they might take the, ideas are so they're planted, they're yeah. planted seeds. If, if, you, if you're having these conversations, you're planting seeds, and right. it's, they're going to grow. They're going to come to fruition. That's what happens. You could throw a seed out the door and have no intention of planting it. Right. It's going to grow. <laughs> you know, the grass is going to grow around it, water is going to rain on it, mm-hmm. and that sure. seed is going to grow. So whether, you know... It's you, good soil or not. Exactly. Right. You know, so, yeah. you know, right. that that's... Yeah, true. But still. <laughs> <laughs> even if you take that idea, that's the paralegal in me, y'all yeah. playing devil's advocate. Even, yeah. if, even if you take the idea, make sure there's a little way for your boy to, you know... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, have a con- yeah. Like she said, have a conversation. Absolutely have a conversation, but... um. Yeah. Also, you know, well, like something like that, like yeah, I just throwing out gems, right? right. Like yeah. Paco gives away a million dollar idea every episode. Mm-hmm. I, I do yeah. try. Like mm-hmm. I've already thought with, with Comedia, you were talking about you wanted to make sure you kept your your brand local. Yeah, but I mean, you could always franchise out with ambassadors to your brand. Oh yeah, for sure. That you handpick that you know they just may pay you know they may pay in on a franchise. Absolutely. You know, what I mean, you just give them the the building blocks of that. And then they just create this, you know, for their city, just like, you know, just like a lot of different. Oh, it's a good idea. So that my minority funding is there. Right. So we'll link up and we'll connect with that for real. (laughs) Exactly. So million dollar idea every episode. Right. So it's, it's cool. Like the idea, like, yeah, but. If you hear me talking about an idea, and, I think there's and, a difference in what we're saying. Yeah, if okay. you're saying I'm gonna do this and da 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 da, that might make sense. Yeah, that yeah. would make sense. How would you do that? I probably da 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 da. Well, that's the difference. <laughs> that's the difference in somebody yeah. that's literally like you know yes. going into your. Yeah. yeah, and that's what I had to learn. I had to. It had to happen to me a few times. Yeah, okay. yeah. No. Start and you. <laughs> I want you to start executing. When you get this idea, execute. But some of them are are seasonal mm-hmm. like i'll have mm-hmm. an idea 
in the winter for something that can't be done until the summer. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I mean? And then, right. And, and I get it. So it by the time down. it a, came around. I'm like, going to challenge you, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> but, Execute. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I execute a lot, but like I have a lot more do. ideas where yeah. I just talk out loud yeah. and I'm like, that'd be better to do in maybe a January. Yeah. And like, so yeah. if I'm thinking about it in August and then come December, my the person I was talking to is like, you know, announcing something. I'm like, <laughs> wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 <laughs> it happens. You didn't it talk does. to me all. It's been six months, bro. You didn't talk to me. <laughs> talk to me. What? I, I sat back and I waited to see if you were going to do anything. You didn't do anything, so I did it. It's, it's not even, <laughs> you know, it's not even the fact of um, not hearing from, from six, for six months. It's a matter of you talk to them every day and they never brought it never up. Never brought it up. Oh, no, that's some sneaky yeah. backdoor bullcrap. Yeah. Like, they if tried. you have. Have a conversation. Yeah. Have a conversation have, with people. It, it happened to me a few times before. Yeah. Like Paco was like, "Stop!" Like, just, <laughs> I, yeah, I said, "Stop talking to them about that." Like, <laughs> just talk to them about anything else but that. Yeah, talk to <laughs> he was like, he was "Like, talk about loving hip hop. Who cares?" Like, yeah, like, like, like talk about anything. You know? Yeah. Well, like I said, um, just to even like expand on what I was, the point I guess I was trying to make more right. than anything is, like I'm circled up with a lot of female entrepreneurs and we all do similar things and so when we talk to each other you know we we piggyback off of each other's ideas a lot Mm -hmm. a lot I'll see something that my girlfriend did and I was like oh we were just talking about that you know or I had that idea or whatever and we but can I take credit for it when she actually Right. Went for you know like I, I got to give it to her. You did you did that. You know what I mean. Right. Like yeah. so. And then there's um a lady yeah. that I look up to, and she does a reality bike show, and I talked to her about doing mine, and mm-hmm. you know so sometimes it's like the more the merrier. Right. You know. What right. I mean? So mm-hmm. I guess it's a double it's a double edged sword. Yeah. I guess. But the, the, uh, you... that conversation, like how you said, like if that conversation is there, you mm-hmm. know, it's like all right, but yeah, like. <laughs> I still I had to learn the hard way. <laughs> yeah, he had to. But y'all, you guys yeah. get back to the conversation eventually. So you, you're sharing, but there's an opportunity where you're like, okay, I'm I'm about to act on this, and you communicate it. Yeah, we Whereas all write, it, but we all write books. We all yeah. have clothing right. lines. We all we all do the the same right. thing. But, so you can still do it. That's what I'm yeah. saying. You can still do it. Right. My my big thing of it is the planning wasn't there like it was supposed to. So the things didn't work out for yeah. me. Yeah. They, instead, instead, you know, they took yeah. the idea and ran instead of sitting back and consistent. Letting that, and that's what yeah. that and yeah. that's what it comes Execution. down to at the end of the day. Like, yeah, they might have stole your idea, but did they did they properly plan? Could they properly execute that? No, they probably couldn't. And right. then you turn around and turn. That's why I said, don't not do something because somebody else did it Started or took it. your idea. You do it anyways. You right. execute because you you're the founder of this idea. So. God gave it to you because mm. you could do it. Mm. So oh, they're dropping gems. <laughs> <laughs> so do it. I mean, that's, that's it. Yeah. Let's do sure. it. No like matter that. what. All so. right. All right. That's what's up. Now we we home now? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm seeing it in space. He's about to switch it up. I am about to switch okay, it up. Okay, cool. So uh, this is an area I feel like most of us struggle in as entrepreneurs. And that is... Dating. Oh. oh. <laughs> really? Really, dude? Yeah. <laughs> well, why do you have to go and bring that up? Right. Dating oh, as an entrepreneur. Oh. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to let y'all talk. Wait a minute. Uh oh. I'm going to let y'all talk. I got some shit to say. <laughs> but I'm going to let Kamitha go. Oh, you're going to let me take the, <laughs> <laughs> the first round of dating and like the like, oh. oh, my goodness. Um, I would say that it's definitely a, a support thing, uh, being who you are, uh, showing that on an everyday basis. Mm-hmm. And um, it goes back to linking your pe- yourself up with uh, people creating your tribe. Mm-hmm. It's the same concept of dating. Mm-hmm. You're not dating everyone. Right. Um, you're dating to uh, to court to figure them out, right. but also create this niche. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and um, you're supporting a brand. You're building a brand, so you have to watch out for things of that nature. Right. Um, right. It goes yes. back to taking care yes. of that that baby. You're molding that baby. You're looking at it. Okay, I want you to grow well. I want you right. to be successful. So you you, you protect it mm-hmm. at all costs. And just because I'm I'm dating you doesn't mean I'm 
I'm forgetting about my my brand. Right. How I'm looking in the community, what I'm surrounding myself by. Right. Yes, exactly. It's a different field out there. Like, at some point, that person was once a stranger. Yeah. So it's like, I got to get to know you. But this thing that I started here is was not a stranger right. like this is a manifestation from my brain to reality yes. like this is more a part of my life than than what you are right you now it can, it. Yeah, it can grow there eventually but don't think you about to come in and switch up nah nah nutter like i got something going on here it's good yeah. to show the support it's, it's good to be there yes but again it's you're protecting your brand yes absolutely all yes. day for me um dating <laughs> that uh <laughs> far-fetched <laughs> da- dating <What's> that? <laughs> um i don't date that much just because um i think it was b simone that said something like as an entrepreneur i can't date a nine to five person and she got a lot of flack for that but i, I agree with b simone you know what i mean like uh, paco was saying earlier he and i were <laughs> on a Zoom meeting at 3 a.m. editing. Mm-hmm. I'm talking to another man. <laughs> yep. You know what I mean? Like, there's a, there's got to be an understanding there. Like, mm-hmm. I have to be linked up with a like-minded individual. Yeah. You have to understand how I work. I may have to get on a plane and be out of town for three days. And then on top of that, I'm a single mother. You know what I mean? So, but but my kids and my, my business, you know, those are the consistent things in mm-hmm, my life mm-hmm. so you have to fit in there and i'm not going to argue i hate arguing right. <laughs> so i'm not going to do it and i'm not going to date multiple people because i don't have the time i don't have the, as entrepreneurs you don't have time to be dealing with that so yeah. i don't want to deal with anybody that that cheats either because and i think if i'm with another entrepreneur not to say the entrepreneurs don't cheat i mean come on let's be realistic right. but it, their time is just as precious as my time mm-hmm. and they're not bullshitting you know what I mean? Like, nobody has time for, for bullshit. So, right. if I'm dating anybody, I'm going to be dating um, someone that has a huge understanding of what I do and uh, probably do what I yeah. what I do. I see my husband um, mm. doing right. what I do. Nice. Right. Okay. Three yeah. o'clock in the morning, get up is real for yeah. an entrepreneur. Yeah. 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 Um, really, if you're starting at seven or eight o'clock, you're behind. Mm-hmm. Right. So getting up at three o'clock in the morning, grinding things out before conversations get heavy, before people start pulling on your energy, right. like it's needed. And people don't understand, okay, you're up at three, doing what? Um, I have my own business. I have mm-hmm. 35 to 40 people to contact and make sure they're on the ball. Then I have a, a app to run and make sure, okay, Okay, they have a heart condition, but I just sent them out to walk for 45 minutes. I said, make it intense. Why did I do that? I I have to focus on what I'm doing, who I'm reading and studying. So I can't get up at 8 o'clock and think that I'm going to produce a good workout. Right. I'm up at 3, I'm up at 4. When you're dating somebody that doesn't understand, like they have to understand like time is so you're going outside to find creativity yes i'm outside i'm coming up with ideas (laughs) i'm laying in the grass (laughs) just let me (laughs) it's it's so much to it that when you talk to people they really can't believe that you're up that early but it's it's a focus on the business because uh going to your nine to five they already checked in the system's working when you get there if you have an issue you call technical uh technical support um if something fails, it's not on you solely, but right. in my business, it's on me when it fails. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. That 250 people can't get into the app. They're going to be contacting me, and I have all those people to work through. What right. am I doing? Right. Um, Copying and pasting that same message yes. so oh. many 100, times. 100,000 times. If something personally happens to me and I have to take that time off, I have 40 clients to get in touch with and say, hey, I need this time off. I apologize. Hey, it's not inconsistency. Right. Life happens for me too. Right. It's different. So what it's kind of different. person would you date? Like, would you have to date somebody that... Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't chuck it up to a nine to five or an mm-hmm. entrepreneurship, but understanding, definitely. Understanding. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You definitely okay. have to have an understanding person in your life to mm-hmm. say, okay, you're getting up at three o'clock to do this. Mm-hmm. Okay, you're staying out this late to have a video edited. Are you are you serious? <laughs> yes, yeah. I am. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because yeah, that's the time they had available to try and meet your deadline. <laughs> at <this laughs> yes, time. You know and it's being real. That's what it is. Yeah. So, what about you and dating? Oh, buddy. Um, he this is what down. this is. <laughs> <laughs> we need a we need a sound for this. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Come on. <laughs> so for me, this is the way I and I lose a lot of people along the way, but but this is what I explain to people about my life and my business and stuff. I say <clears throat> my life is a train. Okay, my business, everything. It's he a, loves it's a train. I love I love he to hear him talk thing. about it. Yeah. I love this analogy. <laughs> and it is headed in in one direction on the track. It may stop at several stations. It may stop at a station and let you on while you're on the train. You might sit in, you know, luxury and eat. Or you might come to the front, throw some coal in that locomotive and keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But the train is moving in that direction. And if you don't want to move in that direction with the train, you might want to get off at the next stop. You know what I'm saying? And that's just what it is. If you can't hang with that ride... And you just gonna have to get off because this is this is all I know at this point. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm too far in the game to be like, oh, I'm gonna be a a pizza shop. Now. You know what <laughs> I mean? Like, There's no going back. There's uh-uh. no going back. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's it. Support so, is a big thing. Yeah. And yeah, and, and here's the thing though. I may not be available every weekend to do all that bullshit that people be doing on their little. You know, oh, we're here kayaking and we're here doing this. <laughs> but you know what? There might be that one time where we both get to go to T.I.'s birthday party, which I've been to a, a, a birthday party. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. We might get to go to T.I.'s birthday party and work a gig. Go, well, I'm working. You're enjoying because you came with me. Mm-hmm. You know sure. what I mean? For mm-hmm. sure. And to me, that that might outweigh at the local bar drinking margaritas. It just definitely you know outweighs. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. Value. I think that's the one word that we're all... Um, tiptoeing around whoever mm-hmm. we're with you got to add value mm-hmm. yeah to this situation yeah. you can't devalue yeah. it <laughs> because then you got to go yeah so it that's um you know those are tall orders to fill for anybody on this panel right. you got to add value so that's... i'm not dating i'm not dating yeah. <laughs> i'm not i'm just not it's yeah. just uh, life is my, my life right now is uh, more about eliminating distractions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. like I'm on a, a course to where I can really, for real, for the first time, see mm-hmm. my mm-hmm. path. And if I execute, mm-hmm. if I just stay vigilant, I execute yeah. it. I can, I can make sure that both my sons' lives are dramatically different. Like, regardless of my life, but I can. I, I'm already on the path. You yeah. know what I mean? I'm, I, I don't need editing no, distractions. Feel you. I, don't, I, feel you. I don't need <laughs> anybody sitting there while I'm editing pictures trying to figure out why this woman went to do a, a boudoir shoot and a, and a thong. Yeah. You know, That's I'm not, bananas. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm not going to be. I, I don't. But what if you were with somebody that understood that, though? I'm, I'm not even for the conversation. I'm not focused on it. I'm not, I'm not yeah. even for the. Not I'm, even entertaining that. Yeah, yeah. I don't even. Yeah. I'm good. I, yeah. The way I feel right now, I have two sons and a dog. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah, like, good. life is straight. Like, yeah. I'm. You got I'm, what, Brandon? I got two sons and a dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm really good. I want right a here. husband. I don't want a date. I just want a husband. Well, I definitely, <laughs> I definitely want a wife eventually. I definitely want a, want a wife eventually. Uh, I, I I identify as a Hebrew myself, mm-hmm. so like even my wife will have to be in a, a whole different type of sphere of how mm-hmm. we walk on mm-hmm. our journey together. Mm-hmm. And I know that even finding that person is going to take time, yeah, and sure. the time is going to take to find that person. Well, alignment. That time right yeah. now is 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 yeah. well alignment. Is, alignment. I yeah. think that a lot of people want to go out and date and date. Maybe you shouldn't be dating. Maybe no. you should be. Maybe you should be getting yourself that's, where you want that exactly other person on, to yeah. be. Yes, and, yes exactly. And, and I'm sorry if I missed that. that. You attract, attract it. It's alignment. Exactly. So, so it'll come to me in time. But right yeah. now, I don't have the time for the conversation. I, don't I get. Have the time I'm with you on that. Yeah. And yeah. I, I'm. I'm. Yeah. Same. He never said he didn't Thank want. Same. Same. You right. just, you just saying that you're not right now because right. you're you're focused right. and you already see yourself aligning. Yeah, but you know that you're not there yet either. So right, so that, that's a good focus. But by the time I get to that alignment and I do meet that person, I'm gonna be absolutely a, a, a whole leveled up, different type of man, and I'll be able to feel better about myself being mm-hmm. the man to this amazing woman that I've met. You know, absolutely. instead of being like, "Yo, if I execute this the right way, baby, we're gonna be on on easy street." You. No, just. <laughs> you're coming in, you're coming into the world of uh, that is already complete Absolutely. and, and right. i'm just looking for my rib now at this point 
But right but now, then, I, I then need, you run into that. that you wasn't shooting with me in the gym. I'm not worried about that. Okay. If, I, if I find, okay. if, yeah, I'm not worried about I, that. Once I find either. my rib, man, it's it's all good. Okay. Like you ain't gotta be shooting with me in the gym. Like, if you can, if you can understand that I was in the gym. And and we just go from there. And like, you've been in your own gym. Yeah. Like, That's the thing about alignment. Right. You're gonna, you're gonna end up with if you don't sell yourself short. If you keep on the path, you're gonna you're going to attract the correct person. Yeah. yeah. So many people. See, I believe they, in soulmates. They, I believe in twin flames. Yeah. So, <laughs> so you gotta. I don't. I, don't I wanna, really do. I don't want to jump around and exchange energy yeah. with, with There's you. There's one person for me. That's it. Like, mm-hmm. and, and I don't know where that person is, but but the Most High got me. He gonna make sure that I run into it. But, it's fine. But so <laughs> I'm cool. I don't need to exchange energy with people. I have a lot of female friends mm-hmm. that are like my friends. Mm-hmm. So I know, you know, about the whole uh, going through something emotionally yeah. or, or just needing a, a shoulder to lean on or mm-hmm. having somebody to vent to and everything. And I'm. I'm Cool with that mm-hmm. but when it comes to the the expectation that it comes along with the title i i do way too much mm-hmm. right now to mm-hmm. have to adhere to anybody and then have to explain to them why i'm too busy yes. i'm you, just you busy yes, <laughs> yeah. i'm just busy right yeah. now right. I, like, i'll see you when i see you <laughs> but once i'm once i'm that guy once i've completed the mission that is my journey Hey yo, then then yeah. now I got time to sit around talking. You tell me what your favorite movie is and how you like your food cooked and everything. I hear that. Right. But right now though, I, you on the grind. I'm on the grind. I'm yeah. trying to be I a city you, councilman. Brother. I, I hear you. Yeah. I can't do it right now. I hear but, you. Yeah. So shout out to all y'all that be in my DMs. I, hey. I do appreciate it, bro. He's so cute. <laughs> you give me some nice. It feels good on the inside. I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wait, somebody says, Brandon, you need to mentor young fathers. You got your head on straight. Well, thank you very, very much. I actually do mentor. I've been going back to Central for the last 10 years and uh, and talking with them. And some of them that I have uh, talked to, like creative writing and everything, I teach creative writing uh, through uh, Miss Hatcher. But uh, they've become dads and they've hit me up later on in life. And, and I talk with them. I, you know, try to give them the best. The, the best I can. I didn't have a dad, so I'm literally figuring all this out from watching Ti Family Hustle. So, yes. Yes. <laughs> right, right. Yes. so I do what I can. I don't think I'm the best mentor. I, I listen to Pimp C, so I, I just do. <laughs> yeah. I'm going off right. experience. I, I just want to ask you, and you do creative writing. Yeah, yeah. Oh I, I'm a poet. Like before any of this other stuff, before uh, podcast, politician, uh, community photography. activist, photography, video, before all of that. Before all of that, the only thing that comes before poetry is I'm a dad. I wrote, I, I've been writing poetry since I was four years old. Mm-hmm. Like, like I used to turn in my homework in kindergarten in poetry form. No, that's a hand clap. Right. That's, okay. a hand clap. <laughs> that's a hand clap. Well, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. So, like, that is my, I can do that like I can breathe. Like, mm-hmm. at any point. So, you're like, going to write a haiku? Can you, can you? Yeah, give me a word. <laughs> like, um, Uh-oh. Dixie. Dixie. <laughs> all right. <laughs> All right. Um, if you go beneath, if you go beneath the line of the Dixie, you'll find a woman who smiles like a pixie, and she may mesmerize you like a gypsy. And it'll be quick that you see that she's unique. So just go below the Dixie, and you'll never, if you, you'll be surprised at what you could meet. Hey, hey, oh, hey, 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 that was on the spot. That was really good. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm, I'm he pulled a, a card. <laughs> I'm a poet. I'm a poet. That's my thing. I love poetry. If I could do my whole political campaign in poetry form, I, I got it. Like right. trying, <laughs> trying to talk regular to people is my oh, thing. For sure. We need to see your volumes for sale. Oh, I thought he said something about turn the volume. Oh uh, no no no, we're good. Okay. Or am I late? What volumes for sale? <laughs> I guess your poetry. Oh yeah, I've never put out a poetry book. Yeah, I, I've now written like three you're of them. Freaking gifted. Well, thank you very much. Do so. Let's execute. I knew you were good. I knew execute. It. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Yeah. For um. the love of God. <laughs> <laughs> wow. but, all right. So what's what's the next one, man? You got us talking about dating. You got to switch um, up. Can yeah. I ask one? Yeah, it's all you, man. All righty. <laughs> so, what is other than can't nobody fire you? What is the 
the biggest benefit of being an entrepreneur that you've experienced? The the, the biggest benefit, whether it be internal, whether it be mm-hmm. external, or whatever, the biggest benefit that you come across by being an entrepreneur. Um, I'm so isolated working that this gives me an opportunity to meet people. Mm, nice. It gives them an opportunity to meet me right where I am. Yeah. Right. Uh, being myself. Nice. I don't have to uh, fake a frown or, or smile. I'm yes. just I'm me on an everyday basis. And when they see me, they can say, Mookie, you okay? Yeah. You know what? I'm not. <laughs> or, <laughs> yes, you know, I'm really good. So yeah. it's, it's good to be on that level where I don't have to fake the funk. Right. Um, you can be I can genuine def- at yes, all times. Be genuine at all times. And people it. really see that. And they, they embrace that. They welcome that. And they, they don't think that I'm uh, out of reach. Right. Personable again. Yes, I, I um, love this. Bring it back yes. to the streets and just uh, you having a bad day. You can talk about it mm-hmm. instead of keeping all that stuff in because it's heavy. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. That was great. So yeah. through your business, you're actually able to train yourself to be more extroverted. Yes, that's what's up. Yeah, yeah. that's what's up. What about you? I feel the same way. I feel like becoming an entrepreneur changed my life so mm-hmm. much. It made me a better human being I wanted to become a better human being because of entrepreneurship so Mm -hmm. I get to walk into any room at any time as me I go by Winn-Dixie but yeah as Ricky D as Winn-Dixie I can go into any room I can wear my shorts this sort of I don't have to impress anybody Mm -hmm. you know what I mean I'm gonna you know carry myself well obviously but you know what I mean like I can go anywhere and be me Mm -hmm. and operate through business Mm -hmm. and then like Mm -hmm. that time with my kids you know what I'm saying like I got my whole morning to be with my kids, make sure we're eating what we need to eat, you know, just my living my life every day mm-hmm. by my own terms. Mm-hmm. I create, and if there's something that I want to do, you know what I mean? I could just do it. You know, right. like if I have an idea, I'm like, okay, you know, I know the people to call. I know how to get things done because mm-hmm. I've just been doing it for so long that it's just, it's easier to, to do things now. So I just love being able to create every day yeah just create yeah. and manifest yeah that's the most beautiful thing about about being an entrepreneur is doing me every day being mm-hmm. myself yeah. every day <laughs> you know yeah. if i if i don't want to cry which i don't even cry that much anymore like being an entrepreneur i know i used to cry a lot in the beginning <laughs> so really really painful but you know like just being able to have an emotion and mm-hmm. not having to like not want my boss to understand, you know, like, right. oh my God, you know, like I'm right. having, I'm having a bad day or like, right. and traffic, no traffic. No traffic. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's the one. Me and her both work in Franklin in that office corporate environment uh, and sitting in those traffic jams every day was just there. And then here's the thing. You sit, I don't know about your employer at the time, but my employer at the time, they knew it was traffic. They knew when there was accidents. They knew when things were bad. And they would still, like, slick degrade you a little bit because you were late. And, like, there was times they were late with you, and they were still <laughs> throwing, Son, throwing shade. You need to wake up early. I, we, what? Uh-huh. Like, I was right You didn't sweat your bad yet either. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's a 35 yeah. minute drive, and I'm already getting up two and three hours yeah. to get there on time because of traffic. Fuck that. Yes. So, is that the biggest benefit it. for you, too? Huh? The biggest it? benefit for you, too? Um, the traffic? The biggest benefit. <laughs> Okay. Sound like traffic is how to live. I mean, not having to go through that for sure. I mean, COVID has really knocked that shit all the way. Like, if yeah. COVID did anything, like everybody's working from home. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? True everybody's that. working from home. For real. Mm-hmm. And just that opening the American people's eyes and being like, "Oh, we all can do this from home." Like, they're gonna have a hard time. But they're gonna have to fire whole floors of people. To get people to back. get them to start yeah. coming back to that. Yes. No, this yeah. remote has been working, and that's what I'm doing. Okay. Right. <laughs> and, and we I, ran the company for this long, right? Remotely, so Might as well keep hey, if it ain't broke, <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of people claiming car problems. Right. I would come back, but man, during this pandemic, my transmission went out. I, I, I would love to. I would love to see. I would love to see numbers on that. Like, right. I, I bet everything has increased oh, because yeah. you don't even have to leave your house. You right. know, you don't have to worry about gas money. Right. You don't have to worry about accidents, traffic, 
or, yep. or like being on time, all you have to do is like roll sit out. Next, of, you can roll out of bed, hit right. the computer on. Sit, hey, <laughs> sit next to that person you you can't stand. Exactly, you know, yeah. having the outside really elements. That's a big thing. I don't yes. even have yeah. to roll out of bed. My I have a desk that slides over my yeah. legs. <laughs> Spoiled. Like, all I do Spoiled. is open my eyes, <laughs> bring it over top of me. It's a beautiful and, thing. And there's oh. the laptop. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh. yeah. I need Spoiled. a desk. <laughs> so I kind of want you to tell us a little bit about the show that's getting ready to come out okay yeah I'm kind of biased because I'm a part of this so, all right yeah yeah go ahead and tell us about that all right so I came up with the concept of um the real film tells of bike life back in May of 2019 it is a reality show based around female bikers um reality show minus drama and negativity but just Thank real you. women <laughs> right. in the bike world um doing what bikers do as women um it, and it's a lot of things you know that that opens up a lot yeah. of doors but um working with strong women that are um wanting to put themselves out there like i'm providing a platform for them as well so we started in dallas to, well we actually started in another city and everything kind of fell through and that was back in September, Mm -hmm. but I'm like a dog with a bone. (laughs) Mm -hmm. I'm never going to give up. And so we started, um, in Dallas, we start, we picked up with Dallas and we just Mm -hmm. did our summer episodes. It was just an introductory to the cast, Mm -hmm. but I flew down to Dallas and recorded it myself and, uh, Paco and I produced it and it has done wonderfully well. And so we are casting for, do we have a button for that? (laughs) We are casting for, um, Two new cities starting August 11th. We're casting for LA um, Femtales and Memphis Femtales. Um, okay. So I want to give a big shout out to yes. Phoenix, Taboo, Ebony Star, and Socks. Those are the leading ladies of the Real Femtales of Bike Life, Dallas, Texas. Shout out to you, ladies. Go ahead, That's ladies. What's up? She's three cities deep. <laughs> yes. I love it. Here's the key, though, and everybody misses this, and this is a really good book, but, um, Water is hot at, what, 211 degrees, right? But it boils at 212 degrees. Mm -hmm. So always go on that extra degree. And that's what I did with the Mm -hmm. show. When it fell through, I went an extra (laughs) degree, and I got it boiling. (laughs) So we could really, like, you know, do something. So Mm -hmm. I'm really excited about this show. And I know he is as well. He's the producer on the show. Right. Yeah, and uh, we will drop a link in the comments so people will be able to check that out. Uh, they said, uh, drop the trailer, Demario Liggins. We have, um, it's ca- like a cast introductory to each cast member. And you can check that out. We'll drop we'll drop a link to her page so they can uh, definitely check that My out. My boy said Oak Cliff. All right, man. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, so uh, hold on. Back to the show real quick. Okay. So, are you you were wrapped for all the summer episodes? No, right? the summer episodes were just an introductory. So what we did that for was to bring popularity to the show and to gain sponsors for the show. Okay. So right. we picked up a lot of sponsors last week um, on the way out, and we are I have meetings with a ton of sponsors this week. So just getting the funding for funding. the show. Mm, um, okay. Okay. So just putting our work ethic out there and getting people an idea of what we had in mind so we record the actual show yes. the first week in November in Galveston, Texas, the ladies will be staying in a beach house, uh, the Raven Dixie Beach House and um, we're going to mm. be recording the show there but then um, as the show progresses we'll be in their cities with actual film crews recording the right. shows nice. so, and that's just for the Dallas ladies all the other cities start next year but we're casting now so Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, Did I answer your question adequately? Yes. Okay. yes, yes. <laughs> any any certain type that uh, you're looking for when it comes to casting, or is it just because I've seen I've seen I the, to, the I, other episodes and you you I like the variety that you have. Yeah. So so I have a casting director and she's one of the, the ladies that are on the film tells of Dallas. Her name is Socks, mm-hmm. and so um, she and I kind of just have an idea of what we're looking for, and I take. Um, mm-hmm. You know, Paco's going to be looking at uh, the videos as well. So I have an idea of what I'm looking for, but I don't want to put a word on it. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. I want to see it and be like, yes. that's how I work. I see it. And I'm like, 
that's it. That's it. But Socks is better at um, verbalizing it. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's like she can suck suck whatever I'm thinking out of my brain and, and say it. So nice. I'll, I'll let her say it. You're, but like, I, you're I know going what I'm back to for. having that team. You gotta have yeah. the right yeah. people around. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's up. Um, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, sure. <laughs> congratulations to you too. I appreciate Luke. it. <laughs> it's beautiful. For uh, other entrepreneurs that are watching, that will be watching. Uh, any any quick hacks to help people along their way? Any any things that you? Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. No no no. Go ahead. I'm I'm, I'm gonna piggyback. Okay. Anything yeah. that you know that uh, you might have stumbled over, or, or and you can just let them know, like, hey yo, like for mine, tax write offs. I love tax write offs. <laughs> I didn't realize how much stuff Everything can be tax. a tax write off. Yeah. Yes. I didn't. My but, hair. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not real, playing. Real no, talk, like, think, thinking about hair. Yeah. I didn't learn about tax write offs until. Uh, Donald Trump until like he starts showing how he was like writing everything off. I was like, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. He owns a business. I own a business. Right. Wait, wait a minute. Everything. I started looking into it and I'm a mobile notary. That's the first mm-hmm. business I ever started was a mobile mm-hmm. notary. Mm-hmm. I just had to fix my transmission. Like, mm-hmm. wait a minute, that's a tax that's write-off. A tax like, write-off. Changed everything. Yeah. Yeah. Look into y'all yeah. tax write-offs. Yeah. All right, but yeah, everything. Something like that. Any, any Yeah, kind of hit on both of you guys, you know, you were talking about sponsors and funding, and I know mm-hmm. you, you've you reached out and, and did grants and right. funding and right. stuff, and let them know, like, the importance, like, you can build, and this sounds, this is going to sound funny, but to entrepreneurs, they know, you can build your business with other people's money as long as they're getting a return. Yes, oh, exactly. That's yeah. entrepreneurship 101. Right. right. Exactly. But a lot of people don't know that. Um, a lot of people are taking second mortgages out or dropping yes. their 401ks out. That's insane. Yes. I, I had a whole building. Weed? Marijuana? Read. Oh. Read. <laughs> read. Weed. Oh. Weed. If you're in Colorado. We don't like <laughs> to like read. Boy. Right. Read. Um, so the biggest life hack is read because you have to read to find grants. You have to outsource. You have to get a grant writer if you don't know how to write. Mm-hmm. So reading is a big portion of that because they're not going to tell you too much. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, and you can't not. look at the pictures and figure it out. Right. You have to do the research. Yeah. You have to. It's so crucial to do the research. I wish we had a rainbow that could come over our head to say research. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's Jesus. so important. That's so important. Know what the hell you're yeah. getting yourself into. Pay right. yourself. Yourself. So yourself. every time you get a client or you do something that brings in funds for you, take a little bit out and put it to the side and say, okay, this is for the business. Right. Yes. Um, yeah. it, it flows back into it. If you're not pouring back into your business, how will other people? Right. Yeah, right. It's different. You all, yes, people, every dollar you make from a transaction as an entrepreneur is not your money. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. You need to be able to write your own paycheck. And be able to deviate those funds away from that, and put it back. Because you know, if you're a ph- photographer and you're spending, you know, every dime you make, when that camera goes out, guess what? You're not gonna have anything to replace it. <laughs> but exactly. if you've got this money put back in the funds, then you can, you know, you can do that. You can buy it. And then when you get your business license, a lot of people doesn't realize. You don't. You get a separate line of credit. Also, yes, it's I'm not so saying true. use that, but you may have to. Mm-hmm. So that that's another thing too. But I'm gonna hand it back over to y'all. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, like I, I'm. I come from a, a different, um, different background. I, mm-hmm. I've, like I said, I've never done. Um, I've never done loans before, but um, I'm really big on making money. Right. And that's um, sponsorships, but also like what, when you get a sponsorship, it's not your money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that, mm-hmm. That's one thing. Like you have to understand. Like, yeah, you have to pay for your cost of living, but money for me is not the end goal. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Money is just a tool for me. It always has been since I've gone into business. I've never, I never went into business to become rich so I can have, you know, shiny shit. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I don't, I don't care about the shiny stuff. I'm more so wanting tools to continue to do what I'm doing. So money is all, I just look at money as, as an avenue or a means to, to create and do more. So that's the first thing you have Mm -hmm. to understand that. Yeah. You need to pay yourself. So with paying yourself, you need to know like how much did my clothes cost? How much do my food cost? Like to feed my kids, whatever, what will my kids need? 
it's going to be more expensive for kids in August, you know, or in May when there's graduation and stuff like that. So just knowing, you know, Mm -hmm. how much you need each month is so important. Like understand the pennies that are coming in and like just really looking at your, keep a good accounting of, um, of money and then like mm-hmm. I said when sponsorships come in understand that that money is going toward production or toward talent mm-hmm. or toward um you know just uh equipment <laughs> or, or right. like even if it's like fixing your car yeah. that's important like if a sponsor gives you money you know and you need to fix your car fix your car because you're gonna have to take the car and drive it to wherever the heck Absolutely. you need to go right. so just use your money wisely don't be quick to buy the shiny stuff i'm not saying i'm not the fun police like i always say <laughs> have fun you know get the big house eventually but don't let that be the end goal it can't Origin. be the end goal right um yeah I, th- I think that that's um that's a big hack is, uh, right. is uh yeah. knowing right. how to uh, dispense that that money i love it budgeting is, is vitally important. i hate the word budget because it terrifies people yeah really? you know what i mean I, I, tr- <laughs> <laughs> oh I try not to use words like that but just right. you know yeah they, yeah they better get used to it that's that's <laughs> That's reality, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry that that is how they they keep this this gap between us. Like we yeah, 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 let yeah. too many things like frighten us. Like we gotta learn how to budget. We have to learn how to uh, use your credit and utilize it. And like you gotta, it's so many things that go into that that most people would think about in your personal mm-hmm. life. But when you have a business mm-hmm. and you're an entrepreneur, those things mean double. Mm-hmm. Like, right. And you really have to understand the the magnitude of it first in your personal life to understand like oh when it comes to business yes i i cannot slip i Mm -hmm. i have to be on point on my square Mm -hmm. at every step of the way when it comes to the real deal behind the scenes stuff because you could have had a great year but if you didn't do your your, your strategy <laughs> yeah, the right yeah, way, right, yeah. man, that's it, that's the biggest yeah. thing. It's like when February roll around, you got to do that. That you got filed in taxes, yeah. and you don't know how to equate for all of that. Like, yeah. you, it can go bad real quick. Like, yeah. I hate the word, but I live by it. I mean, I'm a paralegal. I, I no longer a paralegal, but I did that for a number of years. I grew a lot of solo um, entrepreneurs businesses for them as a paralegal for solo attorneys. Mm-hmm. So I understand the concept of budgeting everything but i know it's like a terrifying word for Mm -hmm. people but um we did expense sheets um Mm -hmm. when i was a paralegal anytime you're getting divorced you have to do an expense sheet and you have to have it notarized and Mm -hmm. you have to submit it to the court um so just keeping an expense sheet you got to know income and expense sheet is what it's Mm -hmm. called so you know how much comes in and how much goes out every month Mm -hmm. you know what i mean like that balance it goes absolutely so like people don't want to they don't want to you look at the receipt i'm looking at receipts i'm looking at everything because i want to know where my dollars are going so just track your money and don't blow it don't blow it like don't be like oh my god like i just got this ten thousand dollar sponsorship and now i'm gonna go buy me whatever the hell Mm -hmm. and not understand Mm -hmm. like no more than half of that needs to go right back into yes, your right. business. Yes. At all, think about that. I like to do charitable donations with whatever comes in, take care of my family, and then the rest goes back to business. Also, like take care of myself. Like mm-hmm. I like to go to the gym, I like to read certain things, or um, put myself in certain seminars. So always working on myself. So money for that as well. Mm-hmm. But right, right, right. yeah, I like that. I like that. Those are some great hacks. If, I think if people just go off of those, <laughs> if people just go off of those alone, then you're you're already a year ahead of what I was. It took my whole first year of like, all right, I'm gonna have a mobile notary service, and then I'm gonna do photography. So mm-hmm. I have two businesses, and I'm just gonna make it work, and everything will be fine. I, and it, it'll all fall in the right place without actually looking into nah. it. Like, well, the money's coming in. I'm a, I know I'm always going somewhere. Like this. This is working fine. I'm a, I got clients calling me and people always need me. And it's then like small. eight months into it, I'm like, uh, <laughs> wait a minute. Hey, live small. Live small. <laughs> yeah. I say drive the, drive the crappy car. Live small. You know yeah. what I mean? Like don't go and get the most expensive um, house to rent or, you know, if you can, if you're starting off, if you're younger or not, like if your parents are like, okay, you can come stay at my house and build your business. 
let the ego go. <laughs> you know what okay. I mean? Go, go and build Do your it. business yeah. and yeah. understand like yeah. image is absolutely not real. Right. Yeah. Sac- that's a gem. <laughs> and that's sacrificing. It's, it's kind of like when I bought my home. I went and lived in a two bedroom apartment on the not so great part of the town. And I stayed there long enough to be a homeowner, you know? And that's the way you have to treat this entrepreneurship. Like, you you got to know when to pull the trigger on some mm-hmm. things. But until then, you got to sit tight. It's a building phase, you know? It, it may not look great right this second, and it may not be glamorous right this second. Yeah, you on it. But when it, when it blows and it pops, Ooh. then yes. Look, you know, yeah. let me, look yeah. at this. Look at, look at the fruit of my labor. Mm-hmm. You know? mm-hmm. So, mm. but that's you know that's just my opinion. We got a comment. Uh, how do you find good people to match your vibe as far as work ethic? Besides trial and error, I believe in God. So uh, me too. Alignment. I yeah. just I go off that. Like he ain't even steered me wrong yet. So if I just follow your gut instinct is your heart talking to your brain. Come Intuition. On. So I, exactly. Intuition. That's God talking to you. Yeah. So I just I always follow that. Um, and then just discernment. Like if if. If you're around somebody, and like, even if you're not around them, if you see somebody with a work ethic, like for example, my uh, my bro Dominique Hatton, he does massage. Mm-hmm. He's a traveling masseuse, but now he has his own office space where people can come. So he'll travel or you can come to him. But seeing his work ethic is inspiring to me every mm-hmm. time I see it because the first week when he decided I'm doing this on my own, like he was at my house and uh, I got a hat from him with his business. He got a, a shirt from me, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? But seeing where he started and then seeing him constantly doing that made me be like, J- we're going to hang out more. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like well, I'm hanging out with you more. For like, sure. So just just being observative and seeing people that take themselves seriously. It's, it's something empowering about being able to walk in a room and everybody takes you as seriously as they take themselves. Right. Mm-hmm. And when you see people that are serious about themselves, you just, hey, yo, what are you doing? What, what are you doing this weekend? You ain't doing nothing? Girl, let's, let's go get, get something. Don't yeah. feel intimidated by it. Right. Don't, you know what I mean? Don't force it either. Yeah. Right. Yeah, thing. already, yeah. Have a good personal relationship if you if you can. But like how people say, uh, yeah, a cup of coffee, you know what I mean? Like I've been in multi-level marketing, marketing mm-hmm. things before, and they always like, a cup of coffee can get you a long way just sitting down talking to somebody. Right. So if I see somebody that is impressive, I'm like, all right, just let's just sit down and, and let's chat. Just chat. Like, I know it's I can hold easy. a conversation. It, it, I think it's easy to figure out who's going to be worth, you know, right. putting your time and effort into. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was hard for me at first. I, I will say that. But once you learn all the things there is to learn, you know what I mean? It, not saying, like, I don't learn. I'm, I know everything. <laughs> I'm not yeah. learning because I'm constantly learning. But once you learn those initial things, it's easy to, to link up with, the like mind like for instance i do a lot of work with paco we work together a lot actually right. especially yeah. right now and it's like just understanding like who he is i have a lot of respect for him his family his home and he has a lot of respect for me as well so we understand like hey we're gonna have to do this at 10 o'clock tonight or something like just right. like right. being I with like people that. that know how to flow with you mm-hmm. that's so beautiful mm-hmm. it's so beautiful especially like what we do now i don't I don't know. Do you have employees? I don't have employees, so I can't no. speak from that. Everything is just service. Right. Yeah. Um, I would say, my, my advice on this, I would say to develop those skills to read people is give it time. Don't jump into it. Don't force it. Because time shows you people's true intentions. And you'll you'll learn that skill set. You'll have to build that skill set. Mm-hmm. But time will definitely like if you have an event and they've been you know they've signed up to help you with this event you'll get to see their work ethic in time don't give people the key to the city just immediately oh you want to help me all right here's my account here's the key to the cities (laughs) don't do that give them time start with little things Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. hey can you grab me some chips on the way to this event you know what i mean if they fail at that Fuck them. You know what I mean? Right. Do not trust somebody who can't bring you chips yeah. to an event. <laughs> okay. Cheesecake. It's like cheesecake on the bridge. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. For sure. That was a home well, wasn't it? Yes. 
about Diddy, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. I heard Linden. cheesecake. Making I was like, the cheesecake yeah. 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 making the band. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't even go over and get the. Yeah, it's you a long walk, but you need to do it. You yeah. know what I mean? Like yes. the this it's a long walk to success. It's it's just how it is. Yeah. Yes. So. Yes. How did you find the uh, the right people to to? She's got a great team. Yeah. I just just blessed. No, no. <laughs> I, I, like I said, I isolated so much, and I shot I shot ideas out there, seeing if they would work. Mm-hmm. And when people gave me feedback. I went with those people. Mm-hmm. Now, if I shot an idea out there and I'm waiting six months, I'm right. waiting a couple of weeks, nobody says anything back, it's not the right person for you. Right, absolutely. Yeah, but if yeah. I'm hearing feedback, that means, okay, you, you, it took you a little time, but you got back with me. Yeah. You want to hear more ideas, okay, how can we work further? Right. And then it goes back and forth. Beautiful. I love that. Trust in the process. Um, six months is not a long time to wait, especially when the communication is coming through. Mm-hmm, yeah. mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a it's amazing patience, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you just took it all right there, like because yeah. six months doesn't when in the long grand scheme of things, well, how it how long it really takes to develop an idea and then to execute that idea it's and then to make time. it it's, it's no like time. exactly. So right. like 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 you said, just the time of it all mm-hmm. really means all for it. What? No, already we're past that. <laughs> all right, yeah, we're past that. <laughs> okay, yeah, cool. we've all right. given we filled that order. <laughs> all right, cool. So it's 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 really a, I guess it is time that is is required, and I'm trying to learn yeah. that myself personally. And Paco's helped me a lot with that because I'm, uh, what would my granny call me? Rambunctious. There mm. we go. I'm I'm more of a, we got an idea. Is this possible? It is. All right, I'll be right back. And I'm. Right. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. and that's, that's how our relationship works. Like I'm I'm a master like strategist okay mm-hmm. and he has the energy to just want to go so a lot of times like i've got to like this for a second i'm like <laughs> let me give you let me give you everything let me give, me these, like, let me uh, give oh, these details oh, oh yeah. yeah you get oh, yeah. the details oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Turn them loose. laughs> I start off running and he'll be like, you're going to trip right there. There's yeah. a trap right there. And like, and your shoes aren't tied, so you're going to have a problem there yeah. too. Oh, snap. I'm going to take the shoes off. Just tie the I shoes. Love that yeah. I love that. Yeah. I'm, yeah. For my geeks out there, I'm Cyclops and he's Wolverine. You know what I mean? I love it. <laughs> that is exactly, that was great. Yeah. That was great. Can somebody please make us some fan art? Can we talk about the art? <laughs> Not today. We can't because we are overtime. Uh, please, right. go, go please. Ahead. This, what art? All right, this guy made me Michael Jackson. Oh, and I that did, art! Hell yes, we can talk about that. Because you want to talk about entrepreneurship? Look out for scammers that also parade <laughs> to be entrepreneurs. Yeah. Oh, so, I saw I saw your post. Yes, so true. Lord, yeah. Lord. We about to get in his ass. Go ahead, though. No. Keep going. <laughs> he all right. So Paco reached out. Uh, no, actually, he contacted me first. Oh, you! Mu- I can't uh, vote for me <laughs> November third. <laughs> <I'm not sure. laughs> <Okay. laughs> right. <laughs> oh, bring it back. Okay, so we're gonna do. Um, uh, 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 we have photos, you know, yeah. for for the podcast. He was gonna. Alto want to make it look like the Grand Theft Auto loading screens, mm-hmm. the cartoon type yeah, of yeah, yeah. The fan art. Yeah, 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 the fan art. So we were going to do that, and this is what he hold did. On, hold on. Uh, Keep talking. Yeah, I'm going so, to have to load this so, up. So, <laughs> so he, uh, at first, he went MIA. Mm-hmm. And he said the turnaround time was going to be like four to five hours. Mm-hmm. So Pac waited like half a day. And he was mm-hmm. like, all right, what's up? Like yeah. was, He was like, uh, well, I need I need you to send me twenty more dollars because the uh, expected cost of this um, is it, it went past and I had to use my own money to fix it. And Paco there it was is. like, it's, "It's there." Yes, and Paco was like, "Dude, I do graphic design. Like, I, I could have done this, but you reached out to me. So, right. what do you mean? You don't need any more extra money? Like, what do you what are you on?" And he just kept on giving the run around, run around. So. Pac started to blast him, like as you should, because you're you're scamming people right. out here. Right. So in the midst of him being blasted and trying to like write it, he started 
posting that. That was his. <laughs> that was his rendition of. That was his. What we were supposed to be. I that is okay. the, a cartoon Grand Theft Auto type. That no. that was his way. You can do that with an app. And then yeah. he started tagging people that were commenting on the post. He started. He would just upload the photo. He made it his profile picture for a little bit. Then he uh, started just uploading it, tagging people yeah. so they could see that he had done something. And oh, was, that was his yeah, work. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so, so that's what is, we're... That's the kind of style. That's the Grand Theft Auto style. Okay. And so <laughs> that's the way it's supposed to. These are... People had these made. This yeah. isn't from the game. And that's what he was supposed to do, but this is what we got. And he didn't change the background. He didn't do anything. Nothing he just at all. Rushed that. And he made me casket short. Like, <laughs> like, I saw Sin's I saw Sin's comment where she yo, said, "Yo, yo casket short." Yo, <laughs> this is the, this is the guy that's down here. Pay attention. Watch out for scammers, y'all. Okay. For sure. Like, yes. For real. Watch and he out made for it his scammers. profile picture to try and show, like, no, I actually did it. Like. You yes. shouldn't be showing that off as as your finished product. Yeah, yeah. but right. and he had been in other people's. The Fugazi is get... real. Yeah, he's, yes. he's ripped a few other people off. Yeah, there's a uh, Tico has not received his stuff. Tico had already ordered beforehand. Oh, the yeah. only reason I, I even went with the guy is because he was um, he had a bunch of locals, mm-hmm. so I assumed he was local, mm-hmm. and. I, I just help the creative community. I hire people all the time. Right, Each right. year, I have like a uh, cartoon drawing of my kids done with me and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So, but yeah, this guy when he tried to first, he tried to get more money out of me. I was like, dude, just send me my money back. You know what I mean? Just send me my money back, and sure. then this is done. <laughs> and he was like, how about you send me twenty more dollars, <laughs> and I send you seventy back? And I was just like, what? Uh, yeah, that's huh, yeah. Not not only is it a terrible. Oh my hustle. god! Wait. A, uh, oh, okay, Richmond, Virginia. Yeah. <laughs> so but like I ain't got a reach to grab him. You know what I mean? You gotta be glad he's in Richmond, Virginia. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know he need to be saying? snatched up. Right. So <laughs> to send me twenty dollars, I'll send you seventy dollars like, back. That's not even what? a good hustle and talk. You know what I'm saying? You just really just trying. <laughs> So I was asleep. This is crazy. So I was asleep and Paco this. called me. He was like, have you been on Facebook yet? I was like, no, I'm asleep. Like, <laughs> I stay up really late and then yeah. I, I, I don't wake up before 10 a.m. And I get up really early. So we like, yeah. yeah. So as he's getting up, I'm going to sleep. That's mm-hmm. how it works. So he called me like, have you been on Facebook? No. Like, yeah, what's going on? Like, what's up? He's like, you, you need to get on Facebook right now. He's like, this dude has... Massacred our photo. Like, <laughs> he killed y'all. Like, he, he, he killed y'all. Y'all are dead. <laughs> the, some of the best comments was like, uh, somebody said it looks like Brandon's uh, doing a, a movie weekend at Brandon's. Talking about <laughs> weekend, weekend at, at Brandon's. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They said he was missing Jackson Five member and all kinds of stuff. You know what I mean? Just, oh, that, oh, that but it was, was all in good fun. <laughs> it was in good fun, but dude really, he tore my like. Yeah. I, I, Messed yeah. up the whole goatee yeah. look. It's crooked now. <laughs> I'm five shades lighter. That's why I got up early and adjusted the, the light. <laughs> because I had a flashback to the picture. I was like, nah. You gave my guy PTSD. <laughs> Yo, I'm I'm like, picture. Yes, for real. I'm that like, awful. Sucks. I'm like, we're way too bright on this camera. They're going to think that picture's like. Thank you for putting exactly. that out there. Because <laughs> like, right. yeah. yeah. I saw he, he had contacted you. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Oh, I, so I he saw? reached out to you guys. No, he has reached out to everybody it's trying to sell his artwork, which on his page, the stuff looks decent. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't, if he'd have sent that to me and be like, here it is, and I'd have just chalked it up as, oh, he sucks. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? It wouldn't have been no blast. Yeah. But first he started out with the, I yeah. want more money. He's just snatching money. That's yeah, right. I, I want more money. <laughs> I'm going to do nothing. <laughs> right. Yeah. And then I was like, you want more money? Then he, <laughs> then he got with that slick talking like, you know, oh, you know, send me twenty more. I send you seventy mm-hmm. back, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh, you don't know. I have a platform that reaches twenty thousand people. Uh-huh. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And like, we have shut down him doing business in this town. Yeah, in this yes. town at least. You yeah, know, so yeah. And I put that in the comments. Like, he'll never work in this town again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you see? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, 
<laughs> and that's just where was that. Now I I don't like to do a flex like that. But he really did. He just he hit the button. It was like, oh, I'm slicker than you. And I'm like, this is fifty okay. bucks, bro. What are you talking about? You yeah. know what I mean? Like it was, it was a real deal. Oh, you want to play? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I like games. Right. <laughs> I guess um, games. This is. Let me remind you, this is a multiplayer. I game. mean, that was straight, that's straight up jacking. Yeah. He's just yeah. straight up jacking, jacking people. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Jesus. So look out Big for, time uh, for yeah. scammers. They, There's they, men are. They give uh, real entrepreneurs a bad name. Yeah. yeah. It's hard. It's already hard enough to get people to trust go with you. the little guy, to yeah. go with the independent source, you know, right. and and get that trust. Right. So you 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 messing up the game. You you throwing poison in the water. So right. for sure. look out for them and expose them. Like, right. like let's get them out of here. Let's get right. them out of here. We gotta we gotta clear it out. Like there's real artists. There's real. Like I'm sure y'all have come across. You know, people that just say that they're doing this. Right. Say they're doing I know that. artists. They're, mm. they're hurting for twenty dollars, you know, know, fifty. Yeah, they'll be so appreciative. Yeah. Fifty yeah. on a on the whole. I don't, yeah. I don't even know how well the work you do, but right. here, here you go. show me. I know how to business. I've been mm-hmm. a graphic artist before. Here, take yeah. this money, make this simple picture. I'm sending them high quality pictures. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's the biggest struggle yeah. as a graphic artist is getting some pixelated bullshit. Mm-hmm. But I like it. I can cuss and you can't now. <laughs> getting some pixelated fucking bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> But like, I gotta. I'm sending them high quality graphics and images. Like you can do something with that. For sure. And what did you do? You just shit on it and threw it down and asked for more money, man. Please. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty terrible. Yeah. Yes. Bro, we gotta wrap. All right. I I just definitely had to talk about that. Right. Right. He mummified me. He did. He did. did. That's horrible. I commented on like it looks like. Paco just went to a morgue and got a, a body to prop up for a picture. Like, let's, like, let's show it one more time for everybody. It's horrible. Boo. Look at I don't that. Even, I have no that weekend detail that Bernie is in for my real. skin at all. <laughs> I mean, just I look just I look like the purple people eater. <laughs> and the part that like that makes me mad though is he didn't even change my arms like. You didn't even keep the complexion consistent. Like right. you just from right. neck from neck up, I'm just dead. Like, <laughs> oh my god, Man. that's Listen, pretty uh, terrible. We can bring up his current page here just to keep everybody informed. Uh, what is it, Desmond Hart? Yeah, but yeah. you still got the number. Yeah. God, I hope he sees this. Yeah, me too. I told him, you know. So look, he posted this. I guess as a rebuttal to to say he couldn't do it but bruh your shit that you brought us didn't look like that yeah it still did he like do it. that i don't know telling. but I, you know what <laughs> i haven't because taken... if you can do it do it right do you know what i mean you can't do that i don't believe that right i don't believe it either right. i can reverse image search this and wreck his shit right now but I'm not going to do that. I'll do it later when I get We're not going to completely drag your ass <laughs> right, right. <laughs> on this podcast. Right. So, well, yeah. All right, man. All right, all right. So, in closing, um, wait. First, thank them. Wait. Yeah. They need the, the links. They need to know how they can get to the app, how they can get to the show, right. uh, mm-hmm. how they can contact y- you guys. Or like, you know, y'all know. For but, sure. So, please let the people know how they can, if they want to, you know, get on it. Um, on Facebook, Kamethia Wilson. Um, if you're looking for a business page, it's going to be knock, period, that, period, out. Same thing on Instagram. Uh, give me a follow. Hit me in the DM. If you want the app and uh, that support through working out at home or wherever you are, message me with details and we can get you set up. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Um, I know you got a, a lot of them too. I do, I do, I do. <laughs> okay, so YouTube is Raven Dixie R A V I N D I X I E. Just um, it, actually, you can just Google Raven Dixie, and our YouTube will pop up. Our Instagram page will pop up, and so will our Facebook. It's the same across the board. And then if you want to shop the merch, I have on yeah. some of my merch right <laughs> now. Mm-hmm. Raven Dixie logo. Brandon, when I see your hand coming at you, I was like, what is going on? <laughs> what is going on here? Yeah, I know. Stop yeah. the press. <laughs> yeah. Um, and yeah. There goes the campaign. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Paco. Okay, so, um, yeah, this is the logo. If you want to shop the merch, um, go to Instagram to shop the merch and um, 
yeah, you can find everything there if you're interested in being a sponsor for Raven Dixie Line. Ooh. Email us at Raven R V I N dot Dixie D I X I E dot line at gmail dot com. We, we need to be brand ambassadors. Yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely we, getting we, some we, clothing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it. I really, I really do appreciate all the support. Uh, well, we appreciate y'all for coming on the show and like giving us the, the time and and telling people, you know, especially I know that for sure that there's other entrepreneurs out there that watch our show pretty regularly. Mm-hmm. So this is great for them. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, I appreciate the fact that y'all are just pushing and setting the trend. Like like this is just showing people it's the rise, you yeah. know. And mm-hmm. and so I really just appreciate the work that y'all are doing. Mm-hmm. I like that uh, you're being different you're being unique obviously that's something that we relate thank to thank you right. so i just i just love it so thank you guys for coming on the show thank hopefully y'all come back again oh, for, sure. Sure. for sure awesome uh Pac, anything you want to say before we we dip out um who we got we got anything coming up go to the to the who that uh the shop the mothership okay Get some of the merchandise. We, we we finally went ahead and got some to promote. So you can go to the Facebook. Yeah, my hair is coming yeah. across. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> For two people who aren't dating, y'all are handsy. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> but um, no, I'm just kidding, y'all. But <laughs> but yeah, uh, if you go to the Facebook page, there's a shop button. Click there. Um, some stuff is seasonal. Sometimes the hoodies are up. Sometimes they're not. I just do that for exclusivity. I guess you could say that. Yeah. I don't know. But uh, that's all I have, bro. What you got? Um, please go uh, like and uh, follow my page, Brandon Sproul for City Council. Yes. Do that. Um, I really appreciate that. Uh. Stay blessed. Don't stress. Life is just a test, man. Uh, make sure y'all go register to vote. Yes. For yes. sure. Stay, Knock that out. Stay yes. healthy. Eat you some fresh fruit, some fresh vegetables. But peace be with you. Who that? Who that? Who that? Space, space. Alrighty.